Number one Iron Age booty daddy. Iron Age. Oh, fucked it up. God, fuck. Iron Age Knights. Hey, 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 hey. Jesse. Damn it. I hate stream yards. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can roll with it. Cool, actually. Huh? I thought that was kind of cool, actually. It was like a Marvel versus Capcom. With there the we go. Yeah, it was a nice transition. I, I, you know, you know, I fucking flubbed that. Well, I, cause so, so StreamYard fight. changed their UI just slightly. So you have to click a button to get the actual like screens where you want them. Anyway, what's going on, man? How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing pretty well. Uh, Got very well, despite and, being sick yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Did Anvil, I? Uh, Anvil has gone. Uh, Shh. Gone We're not doing well. that yet. Happy. We'll get to you. You're the guest. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> You're the guest this week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one of my esteemed co-hosts, one of the guys that I started Iron Age Nights with, is the guest this weekend, which is awesome. And also sucks because he's the guest, which means that I can't actually like trash on him as much as I want to. I will <laughs> still, however, call you King Richard, the Ironheart. All right. Well, I'll, I'll let you get away with it this one time, but the meme is starting to get a little bit of a, out of control. So, dude, do you want to <laughs> fucking go with memes on me? Like, do, go to my guild and see the memes <laughs> no, that, that they have. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? There's like five memes of me, like different like versions of memes of me. Just, just so <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, what do you say? We say hi to the chat, though. Yes, we gotta say hi to the chat. So, over in the Rumble live chat. So, if you, if YouTube's not your thing, guys, we should be live on Rumble. God, I hope we are live. No, I'm I'm live on Rumble. I, I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting crap over there. So, but we are live on Rumble. We've got Lieutenant Bob, also known as King Bob. And Skunk's Workshop just chopped, just popped up over there. That's awesome. So if you guys are more of a, a Rumble person than you are a YouTube person, go join us over in the Rumble chat over there. Uh, that is a fantastic way to go. God, these headphones are just different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> over in the YouTube live chat, I need to go to live chat. It's gonna, oh God. Oh, it just screwed everything up. Uh, really quickly, <laughs> Wrangler for 420. <laughs> says, touch some buttons. Yes, yes, touch some buttons. Touch the like button. Yeah, and whether like you are buttons, on Rumble or you are on YouTube, guys, make sure to hit those buttons to let people know that this is something that you enjoy watching. Rumble is doing really well for the lives 
Rumble is doing, Rumble is exceeding my expectations for the lives. That's great. Yeah, I wish yeah. they had more data on on what those views I, mean. I agree. I want more data. Like I <laughs> want to know. I've been complaining about that. Yes. Like, like, where, did they watch for like? Did they scroll past and the thing started to play no, and they went? Supposedly, oh, and then they kept moving. Supposedly, the views are on on the lives. From what I have heard from the chat, and the chat lies to me all the time, and they also give me crap. So I don't know <laughs> if this is true or not. But supposedly, Rumble uh says like, like if anybody watches your live stream for like five minutes or longer they count it as a view or something like that so wow I, that's a pretty high threshold i that's kind of where i'm at too but i don't know i have no way to verify that mm -hmm. i'm just going off of what the chat is telling me that's a and, mistake I mean, that's, that's a great idea. That's no, a great no. idea. <laughs> Chad is never wrong. Chat's never wrong. Chat's never wrong. Way uh, to start the stream, Richard. Uh, just, just, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's the king. He can ban whoever he wants to. So Whoa, actually, I'm going to just time out everybody. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, over in the Rumble chat, we've got Skunk's Workshop, Kiko Mon, whose name is different over there. But I know that picture. We also have Frequency Studios. We also have HP Hunter, which is Herman P. Hunter, the Lore Forge. So hey, I hope that you guys are all having a blast over on Rumble. Over here on the YouTube chat, we have Kristen Colebrook. How are you doing? Horizon Talker. Oh, God. I also have a locals chat. Yeah, I have three chats up. I, this <laughs> is, I, 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 need to, I, I need to start making enough money at this that I can hire people to help me out. <laughs> <We've>, <laughs> the voices um, in Royce's head are getting too much for him. No, no, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> they're the voices it. in my head are telling me they're like, dude, what the fuck? There's three chats. Like, we can't pay attention to everything. They're <laughs> they're a little unruly, but it's okay. Like, you just you let the voices and you just, you know, you comfort them once in a while and just it's okay. It's okay, voice number one. It's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, you go and what and then you get voice number two. It's okay. And you just you just have to let never mind. I'm giving away too much. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> JVP oh, music. They don't have names. Well, they used to, <laughs> but then they pissed me off. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now they have to earn their names. That's the thing for an anime. That's there that's some shit for an anime, right? There you go. The I like the voices that. In, yeah. Oh my god! Actually, that's not actually a bad idea for an anime. No, anime. not at all. That's a really good idea. Anyways, JVP. That was literally just me making fun of myself, and I'm just like, wait a minute. Well, what do they say about genius and insanity? They're only just like one step away from each other or something like that. JVP music, kneel before your king for $5. Absolutely. JVP. Uh, Hail JVP, JVP for that awesome track on the uh, trailer. Dude. You know what's so funny is I'm hearing so much of his music in other places. When it's a JVP tune, I'm just like, oh, no. I can hear it <laughs> and it's stylistically as a musician like it's one of those things i can i you you pick up on yeah. as as a musician and i i don't know if other people can just pick up on it innately but it's one of those things it's like when you hear something you go wait a minute that guitar sounds very familiar but it's not a band i know and you go and look up oh okay that guitarist went from here to there okay that makes sense i do that all the time kiko mon for Fifty dollars. Holy shit! Thank you, sir. Over on Rumble. Over on Rumble. He says, "For Rumble's sake, Kikomon song." At the end, I <laughs> saved the Kikomon song for the end. We will do that at the end, as long as it's any, requested. Any we, reason we for the have to remember. Song. We have to remember for the outro time. Definitely. Yeah, it's it it fits in better in the outro time. I feel I really do for sure. It, uh, because I, I am trying to have somewhat of a structure and my chat doesn't give a fuck, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Horizon Talker is also in the YouTube chat. We've got Raven Nevermore. We've got Hojo. What's going on? Raul Nyanzi. How are you doing? Brian McCoppin. Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian, good sir. I have a box from you. Oh, yeah. Should we should we do what's in the box from Brian McCoppin? Sure. Sure. Let's do it. 
because what's I'm, in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? All right, because I I'm I didn't totally forget that it was sitting here. The, the, the last so just so everybody knows, I know I've put a few posts. Uh, this last week has been different uh, for the family. Guys, don't worry. Everything is fine, and I appreciate the people who have reached out to me. Thank you so much. Um, and oh, good, but it's just been one of those things. I just haven't had time, and you know what? What better time to open up the box? I am running a knife down towards the Nether regions. That's not a good idea. <laughs> so I saw that and was like, "Uh, <laughs> it'll be fine." No, it will not be fine. That's the <laughs> anti of fine. That's no, it'll, it'll, absolutely It'll be not. for a good clip, that's for sure. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just snuff film light is what that is. Yep. Oh, the, the, there's a lot of tape on. Wow. Have I used my knife that much this last week? Apparently, I have. Because uh, the knife <laughs> is not careful. cutting what it should. So, Brian McCoffin, step one. Cut hole in box <laughs> for ten dollars. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> if All it, right, if it's and I, head, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> so, I am. Uh, it, it's just been a stress fueled week, guys, and I have not even told my co host this, but this is going to be an even more unruly stream than normal for two reasons. One, I am unfucking believable. Just, just out of my mind unbelievably excited about <laughs> anvil the iron mm -hmm. age magazine issue number one reaching currently eight thousand five hundred and forty eight dollars and i am also just like let's just have some fun tonight because that's <laughs> that is where i'm at and and richard and i do apologize oh, extra wow. drinks tonight <laughs> if i must all right, so Brian Mc, ooh, geez. so Brian McCoppin. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, Brian. Of course there is. It's Brian. Oh, oh yes, the T-shirt. Brian McCoppin. All right, so from Brian McCoppin, the absolutely fantastic dude. Oh shit, that's actually baller as fuck. I was wearing that shirt a couple of weeks ago. That is awesome. And it is comfy too. Brian, think no, this is actually really nice. Mm hmm. Um, that might go on the wall. That's the thing is, I I don't wear logoed clothing. Um, I, I it's it's a thing. Just it's a thing. Just accept it. It's it's. But that doesn't mean that my wall doesn't wear logoed clothing. And there, Brian, th this is a nice freaking shirt. Holy. Crap. I actually yeah, almost feel bad because I told because Brian said, Hey, what's your because he actually said, he's like, Hey, what's your shirt size? I want to send you something. I was like, Well, I, I don't wear logoed clothing. And I was like, But I wouldn't, dude, this is, I actually feel bad about that now. Wow, this is a really nice shirt. It really this, is. This isn't the cheap stuff. What, wow. Brian, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Brian McCoppin is spending the money for his merch. The, oh, holy shit. And then wow. a comfy shirt and that <laughs> logo is badass. That is where can we buy this? I don't know. Oh it my was goodness. Sent to me. I don't but Brian. Brian yeah. met Brian, if you are on the Gilded and or Twitter, please message DM me or message the these guys. I'll, uh, I'll drop it over. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Message Richard because yeah, he gilded. pays attention to this thing. And then that is a record of the paladin, yeah. From St. George's Square. He also sent me a couple of stogies. Brian, you are absolutely oof. Oh, those are gonna be enjoyed. Oh, those are absolutely going to be enjoyed. And then I have what what else do I have? This is <laughs> Record of the Paladins, Book of Oliver. Yes. Oh wow. And a message. Ooh, a hardback. Nice. Yeah. That's very nice. This wait is for incredible. One. Brian. And a message from the inside. Royce, thank you for thank you for your support of indie authors. May the story within inspire and oh god, I can't read the last word. <laughs> motivate. It's motivate. 
<laughs> I. This is incredible. Brian, thank you. And then. <laughs> Hell desk. It's a help desk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My God. Brian. Br and then from Yvette McCoffin, which I'm assuming with the last name being the same. Hold me, Daddy, Yvette McCoppin. Yep. Children's, Children's book. book. Mm -hmm. What you were asking for. It is. I want something I could put in the hands of my children. I was waiting for him to send you one. And then Records of the Paladin, Book of Oliver. Holy crap. <laughs> I might just be reviving my comic book episodes yep that is the first graphic series one that they're doing him and uh a uh, brain fart <laughs> um wow oh my gosh now Brian. i feel bad his name's out of blown out of my brain <laughs> and he, he's one of my artists so i feel bad Thank Feel you guilty. so much. Guys, I apologize for doing a what's in the box on Richard's night. This is going to bother me. That's all right. <laughs> I, I'm a bit, a bit out of There's a reason I can remember his Twitter handle, but I can't remember his actual freaking name like an idiot. Twitter handle is just as good. People can find Ian it. Wilson. <laughs> Ian all Wilson. Right. At the great Scott on Twitter. He is the artist we that did the uh, record of the paladin graphic and he's that been working on my so down graphic Dude, that looks absolutely incredible um mm -hmm. it's wicked we haven't even said hello to the entire chat in mm -hmm. youtube yet <laughs> i was I, wondering chats chats getting uh I, moving there don't 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 give sympathy to them don't don't you're the king you don't give sympathy to the commoners <laughs> <laughs> Well, but it's good for me to, you know, at least put on airs. I know, I know, I know. I don't disagree. Swift Sword Rush is down in the chat. Hello, how are you <laughs> doing? Guilty Gearhead, what's going on? Oxen W, what's going on, man? Redoubt Production, hail to you. A.S. Brunert, how are you doing? Andrew Campbell, what up? Uh, Calvin Gulata, why aren't you here? <laughs> wait, no, is that Calvin? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's the thought bot. No, no. I, I mixed him up with 365 infantry. Where uh, is he'll be 365? joining us later. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's being a little bit. Later. He's being late and gay. Uh, he's being uh, fashionably late, shall we say? Ah, ah. So he, being... he knew how this thing was going to start. We just late. decided to, to skip it. Oh, okay, it's there you Jake. go. There you go. <laughs> All I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> and I am not reading off the names in the YouTube chat who are also in the Rumble chat because. You know, you guys are like double and triple dipping. Unreal Press Podcast, how are you doing down there, good sir? Uh, Andrew Campbell, did I say Andrew Campbell already? No, we're going to say Andrew Campbell again because I don't know because the <laughs> chat moves. To ah, it moved. Just Toxic, what's going on, good sir? Uh, do you still have your guillotine for King Richard? Because that would be... <laughs> good to see you, Toxic. Chatsu, how are you doing? Good, sir. It is fantastic to see everybody down in the chat. Kikomon for $2. Can anyone access the link below? Yes, Kikomon is sharing the Rumble link below. I can see it. I don't know if they can access it. The, James Craig, uh, what's going on? Eric Wag, hey. hello, how are you? And hey. the chat keeps moving, and I can't... Talking Pulp Press, what's going on, Rob? Dude, Rob's hey. getting ready. Yeah, Rob's going for that fifth book, man. Paladin yes. Dragoon Rider, Chris M. Uh, too many people. I, I Okay, if I missed you guys, you guys can make fun of me down in the chat. But it is time to start the show, ladies and gentlemen. My co-host this week, the absolutely fantastic man behind the scenes of your next great novel, the Mr. Daniel P. Riley, sitting in the chair of power. Sir, how have you been this week? Doing well. Was sick yeah. yesterday, but I'm feeling much better now after 10 hours of sleep in a really, oh. really hot room. I get Ugh, that. The I, plague yeah. was horrible. Yeah, I think. Yeah, no, like. I'm a little <laughs> 
Yeah. But no, I'm it, doing good. And no, it's it's nuts, dude. Like I don't ever get that much sleep, but like when I'm sick, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Hibernate. <laughs> oh, dude. Like my wife knows. My wife knows when I need to just not, because she's like, wow, you 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 slept for like. 12 hours and i'm just i I slept for how long (laughs) yeah it was like it was in the 50s last night when i went to bed and i still turned the space heater on in my room and bundled up with four blankets over me and just slept and sweat all of the gross Mm -hmm. out it was horrible oh dude yeah no when i oh when i get sick like that i pile on the blankets and then what i do and this is possibly a fire hazard but I like I like I'll like set the space heater up like on a stool and tuck it like close to the bed and I damn near have to tape the thing to the stool and then I'll just put the blanket over the space heater. Oh yeah, that's a fire hazard. Yeah, no. I well because I believe in sweating it out, mm-hmm. which is probably not healthy, and it's also probably why I lose five to ten pounds every time I get sick, because it's like, nope, gonna sweat it out. And I do. Uh Brian yeah. McCoppin over on Rumble. Uh, for five dollars, just donating on all the chats, <laughs> sir. That's not healthy. You do need to pace yourself just a little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he's thank you so much. Be fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, our esteemed guest <laughs> this evening, the man, the myth, the legend, and the man who I am, and I believe I might be able to speak for Daniel here as well the man who we are humbled to have every week is our co-host who we kind of view as the dude who is a little bit of a visionary the guy who just launched anvil the iron age magazine issue number one over on indiegogo this week richard how are you doing good sir also known as iron age media well uh i'm doing great it's been awesome to see that Anvil is obviously actually going to happen because, you know, I was like, I was obviously very sure that things were going to come together. I just wasn't sure how quickly and how well uh, the numbers, it's the demand was going to be there, you know? So I've been, I'm, it's been very strange. You know what I mean? I'm almost like, (laughs) like, Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's happening. The numbers going up. Wow. You know? So I was very, uh, I've just been blown away and it's thanks to everybody who's um, yeah. been supportive and uh, Daniel here and uh, you know, the viewers from your channel and, and your shout outs and everything else. It's been a huge uh, don't, kind of group. Don't effort. give the chat it that is. don't, it don't is. give the chat that don't no, well, we're give the chat that time. one. Don't give there the is, chat. Don't chat. give Bro. the chat anything. No chat. You get it. Listen, chat, you get one. Every time you buy an issue of Anvil magazine. Okay? No, don't do so. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, dude. The, the chat is like my mortal frenemy. It's yes. just, it's. But in this one instance, Anvil <laughs> could not be what it is without the chat. Ah, uh, chat. <sighs> Fine. You, you, you get it one. All you guys. Fine. You I'll give the chat a little like <laughs> chat. You helped. That's fine. There okay. we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. They definitely helped. A few oh. of them probably even uh, you know wrote or drew or like JVP contributed in a, in a significant way. To well, the campaign JVP itself. isn't really the chat. He was more yeah, like he's... a guest that became the chat. <laughs> So he's like high he, chat, see, not I low see. tier chat. Like high, <laughs> there's high tier chat, then there's low tier chat. Low wow. tier chat just wow, shows we're, up. We're getting into like I'm, the cast system for the chat. Well, I, I, I am I going like this, to come actually. up with a tier system. I've also been watching a shit ton of anime lately, so my brain is warped. <laughs> Viva la revolucion. Think well, it's time to, it's low tier time to chat to just gives me a lot of crap. High tier <laughs> chat just shows up and is like, Hey, you're cool. And then they leave. And I'm like, <laughs> I like those guys. It's fine. <laughs> it's like people who give you money and leave you alone. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds Ah, that makes me feel dirty. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, great. That's uh, wow. Wow. I'm just I'm like a prostitute. I just realized that that's you just realized. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Shots. 
Bye. <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. God damn, what war what war zone did it just enter into? Jeez. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a yes. tonight is going to be a fun night. Uh we're not <laughs> off the rails. There are no rails on this show. Yeah, the, we, we started off off the rails here. So this is I, no rails. I, I kind of need a slightly off the rails Magical. stream if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. <laughs> Ma ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jake Caltub 365 Infantry. Good sir, how are you doing? Oh, doing really all right you only get half of me because the other half is busy working in parts elsewhere <laughs> <laughs> the fuck does like, that mean too many projects yeah <laughs> oh well you know the man of a million uh million projects but that's you think like I'm busy. everybody that i know outside of me i'm the guy that i'm like nope i'm focusing on youtube i'm gonna do this one thing i'm gonna do it really well and then we got Mr. Daniel P. Riley over here. He's like, no, he's like, I'm going to help people write their books. He's like, I'm going to promote my own books. I'm going to work on my I'm own gonna books. Edit I'm going to get a book in 48 yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. My new exactly. Hobby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we've got, you know, Mr. Fucking Richard over there. He's like, well, I'm just going to do this really fantastic website for people to actually discover stuff. Then I'm going to do this magazine. And then I'm, gonna, then I'm actually just going to like work with Elon Musk on some like space laser, just, just like shoots Iron Age <laughs> media stuff into people's brains. And he then Jake's over here. Yet. He's just yeah. like, no, he's like, I'm doing, you know, Soon. it's like, I, I am literally like the everything. bottom tier level of like, like ever of like the creative space. And I'm just like, I don't have time for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the way, I'm coming in loud and clear, right? Just want to make sure yeah. there isn't any choppiness on my end. No, so, no, no. Maybe there a... might be choppiness on my end. Supposedly tornado warnings and thunderstorms. So oh, that'd be right. Well, I have a high winded visor style. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's awesome. Um, I got a couple here. Um, Frequency Studios for four twenty <laughs> over on uh, locals. Uh, this is tip your bartender. Brian McCoppin, he literally hit all three chats tonight for five dollars <laughs> over on locals. Says three for three on donating on chats. Thank you so much, Brian. And then Kikomon over in the Rumble side says, King Richard, I matched my previous donate donation. Hail this Iron Age community. Thank, Thank you, sir. Kikomon. So no, Kik me, eh? all so right. I, I have so, one question for Richard, real quick. No, 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 go for it because we need to get off of my insanity. Because <laughs> oh no, it's, been on... just, it's insane too. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh yeah. Dude, my dude. question is, can I take the stamp suit jacket off now? Yeah, I know. I'm going to do the same thing. I was trying to mess with Royce, and he just didn't even respond to it. <laughs> yeah, he he didn't even noticed like totally yeah, over. No, I don't think that. he even noticed, or if he did, he just didn't. Respond. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely the first one. I. <laughs> My brain space has been in a different place the last few days. Yeah. Oh. Thank God. Were you guys so fucking with me? I yeah. I don't, my, <laughs> I don't have my black suit jacket anymore. I could have done like the nice vest and shit like that though. If you guys would have warned me. No, I just messed with it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why would we tell you? We can't poke you and prod you if we don't. <laughs> oh, exactly. I just wardrobe change back in a sec. I feel like an abused dog at this point. But this is my no home, comment. so I'm not gonna leave it. <laughs> wow! God damn! What a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! Uh, Jesus. Uh, Christmas. <laughs> Jacob's just like, what the hell did I walk into? And knowing <laughs> Jake, he's just, that's a really low bar. Wow! <laughs> yeah. I almost regret. I almost regret not being on camera because I mean I'm gonna be fucking red in the face laughing before the end of the show. <laughs> Good. Oh man, talking pulp press, Mr. Rob Rhymes. I couldn't afford groceries this week because all my money went to Richard eating your Trinidad Scorpion powder for dinner. At a boy. And <laughs> fuck man. you for taking my Trinidad Scorpion <laughs> powder. But yeah, it's good oh, stuff, and it, dude, that stuff will liven up anything. If you if you do just a hint too much of that stuff, you just you 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 notice it. So on that subject, 
I made a homemade chili last <laughs> weekend for my family because we have family dinner on the weekends. Right. And brought the spices over with me to share with my stepfather. Oh, no. He loves spicy stuff, so he's really excited about it. So he dives right in and actually gets <laughs> up from the table and goes and lays down on the couch for a couple of minutes after he's finished. <laughs> 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 it, it's not like, yeah! <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart dude that is fresh out of the garden trinidad scorpion and then any of the like i mean i i think five out of the 10 hottest peppers in the world were grown in my garden last year and my wife yeah, takes them yeah, and she puts know. them in her dehydrator and she dehydrates them and you can't walk into the house <laughs> for like three days and yeah, but awesome. yeah I oh. happily finished mine. He came back to the table, sat down. I'm like, you good? <laughs> you know, that was really spicy. <laughs> did you warn him at all? Or did you just, here you go. <laughs> of course not. All I did was told him that the names were on the label. <laughs> you didn't Stone even give him a warning. I love Hell you. No. <laughs> He's always talking about, like, this isn't spicy enough. This isn't hot enough. Oh, this isn't hot. I'm like, all right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Dude, that, that Trinidad scorpion, that, I, as somebody who's put that oh, in plenty of food at this it. point, like, it, that one will hit you hard. I'm already almost out of it. I just love Wait, it. I put it on. Seriously, dude, we everything. gave you like three or four ounces of it. I know. <laughs> It's oh, that good. I I am aware. Also, I have the ridiculous spicy tolerance for buying it from me. I hate you all. I literally <laughs> looked at my I, wife. I was like, "Why are you selling all of my stuff?" And she's like, "Babe, we're not going to use it." I'm like, the, "What do you mean we're not going to use it?" <laughs> she's like, "I just have so much." I was like, "They make more of it, and I'll use it." <laughs> she's like, "We're uh, not going to use it because we're going to sell it right now." So, I <laughs> uh, know. Oh yeah, we'll get, we'll get more. You'll get more this year. Oh good lord. What the hell happened to this stream? It's supposed to be it's supposed to be Richard's night with Iron <laughs> just the Iron Age magazine Anvil. We got 2 hours. It's true. We do have a few hours. Um yeah. hey, should we watch a video real quick? Let's watch a video. <laughs> let's do that thing. Let's I would do love that. to watch I, a video. Uh, no, we let's just yeah, let's let's do that thing. Let's let's uh let's uh let's watch the video and uh yeah. Let's watch the audio. together. Should have gotten my hair out for that. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> right, <laughs> dude. I just the fact that you actually got somebody, uh, or or found stock footage of somebody hammering out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, just I went a through knife. a bunch of stock footage. <laughs> oh, dude, just There's absolutely a... incredible. And 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 Richard, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. It, like, you launch it. And this week I have, I just, I just haven't had the time to be tapped into the community the way that I would like to just <coughs> pers just life and work and, and just stuff like that. And it was like Monday, I was like, I, it was like getting, you know, it, it, it was like, I, I got done with work, you know, and I, I start the truck and it's cold out. So I'm like sitting in the truck I'm trying to drink it anymore. And I, <laughs> I'm sitting in the truck, just letting it warm up before I drive home because I attempt to not crack my engine <laughs> when I drive. And I look and I'm like, wait, how much has he raised? <clears throat> and you were like, and you'd already like, 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 like four or five dollars away from the goal, like, or, or something like that, or like a hundred bucks or 200 bucks away from the goal, something like that. Because I just saw it in Twitter. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, and it, it was funded in like six hours and I could not believe yep. it. I, I was like, man, I hope it's funded in the first day because they always say, you know, like with Indiegogo, they're basically 
Like you want to price it to the point where you think that you can get the funding uh, done in the first, you know, as soon as possible within mm -hmm. the first couple of days. And I was like, yeah. you know, it'd be amazing if we could hit it in the first day. Yeah. No. And, and you did. And you did. I yeah. mean, that oh, man. was, Ed, Oh, I was, I was, uh, surpassed. Yes. I was, day. I was blown away. And I, I was like, a couple days later, I was like, Oh my goodness. I should like send out campaign updates and everything. <laughs> I was like, Whoops. No, I mean, dude, it's already gone up since we've started the stream. You were 8,500 almost 80 and you're already up to 8,600 now. Yep. Like this is, and I, I haven't been able to back yet because just life and things, but I'm like, I told my wife, I'm like, we're, we're backing this. Like out of all the projects, like, like I will back well, this come, also come pay make sure day. you get an extra copy that, you know, you can, maybe we'll do some extra copies. You can do a giveaway or something like that. That'd be awesome. That's a you thing. And giveaways are a pain in the ass. So thank you for making me suffer. Well, so ladies and gentlemen, if you want me to Pico suffer. Mon is already sponsoring one giveaway. So, um, oh, cool. You got to put that so work. Maybe I'll just do more that way so that then all, because I'm already going to be doing all the fulfillment. So, oh my God. Are you really doing fulfillment? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, oh. that's the only way I can make this thing, uh, you know, even remotely profitable. So, uh, we're going to see, I I'm now like, I, yeah, it started occurring to me that I'm like, Oh, how many, how many supporters are there now? I think that's, I know that it's coming up on like. Yeah, it's coming up on 200. And I'm like, oh, that's that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's insane, dude. I am I am unbelievably proud of you. And I I will say this. I was and and maybe you had said something to me in the past. Um, and I don't know if you did, but I was surprised to see that you have right here the 10 page preview from what Razor Fist and George Oxopolis are doing. And I you may have not said anything, and if you did, I apologize because I forgot. Or you were keeping it under wraps, and then it other, was what, <laughs> so it was it was under wraps until. Uh, so the let's see here, I guess the week before last is whenever I put out the interview that I did with Razor Fist, mm -hmm. and that the Thursday before that. So like basically just about two weeks ago, uh, Razor did the interview and at the end of it he was like you know hey would you like to have, like we were talking and we were thinking maybe we could put the a 10 page preview in anvil and i was like uh yeah because we did not have a comic at that point in time you know and so <laughs> i was like that would be fantastic let's make sure that like go talk confirm that let's make sure all of our eyes are dotted and t's crossed and all that mm -hmm. jazz you know and um, so it wasn't until midweek, like, you know, like four, five days beforehand that uh, I got the yes, definitely um, from Dude, that's them. That's so cool. So that is epic, man. Uh, yeah, I would just I saw that and I was like, wait a minute. And that and that's uh, when I when I did my my video. Like. It was kind of one of those things. It's like whenever you talk about Iron Age, you 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 you've got to figure out a way to kind of put like Razor Fist in and around the sphere of whatever you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. And and most of the time, it's really hard to do, and especially because I don't just want to like clickbait people and be like, oh, it's a Razor Fist. No, it's I you know, but he's a big personality. Obviously, he's a guy. He's the guy who coined the term. And when I saw this, wait a minute, Richard secured a 10 page preview of his book. I was like, hands down, bam, razor fist in the thumbnail, put it out there <laughs> because, well, but, but what that we lost Jake, what, I think what, he, he was having some audio issues. Basically, uh, he was just very choppy. So I, I don't know. We might, we might have to. There he is. Jake, oh, there he is. Just there he stop is. being gay. It'll fix it. <laughs> Jake. Was Jake even, was... Jake, were you even alive in the 90s to experience 90s gay? Even if like a, <laughs> I don't think he knows what 90s gay is. Yeah. Probably not. I mean, I think. Unfortunately, he... it was 2001 in which I was ruthlessly released onto the. Holy world. shit. I know. Like a few My years goodness. older than. 
Dude, you're born the same year that my nephew was. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. I try not to think about these things. He's almost the same age as my <laughs> daughter, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you old enough for this stream, good sir? <laughs> no, Royce, I'm just here to give you fine. You're just that. old. <laughs> yeah. We're old. That's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we just need we just need a okay, meme. Okay, okay. Let's let's get it out of the way already. The future's now, old man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Anyway, anyway. Um, well, I'll be was fine. That, that wasn't a threat out. of violence. That was a friendly <laughs> gesture of... No, nah, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Um, what the hell happened in the stream? No, um, <laughs> but... Richard, I am. I, I do want to get to conducting this in somewhat of a way that I would normally conduct an interview. And good luck. Although I have a little bit of a behind the scenes on this one, the chat doesn't. What inspired you and gave you the idea for Anvil? Where? How did you come to this conclusion? Because I know you. You're the type of person that you're. You're constantly asking questions. You're constantly trying to figure out the answers to problems and anvil was the solution to a problem so what's the problem that you so, saw good I, question i think that the the problem that i i sort of came across which is something that i've said before which is that people uh don't tend to be as like actually active and choosing what they're watching or what they're reading or what kind of content they're consuming as they think they are. Generally speaking, they are um, most consumers. And I, this is largely, in fact, I don't think this applies to anybody who's hearing this right now. You know what I mean? Cause this is not our, our, our um, current, mm -hmm. you know, viewership, mm -hmm. but most people when they choose content, they, first of all, they choose a brand. You know what I mean? They choose, mm -hmm. um, for the example of Chevy, magazines. Ford, Dodge, like, well, well, for magazines, they choose people magazine or they choose <laughs> heavy metal or they choose, I, um, you know, like I was taking a shot or, at people with that one. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see. <laughs> uh, no, but so my, my thinking became that there does need to be some branding for indies because, mm -hmm. You, you look and comic skate has done a good job of branding itself um, mm -hmm. as comic skate. And there's been a few comic skate magazines, but in my experience, they, they <laughs> seem more like um, kind of like groups of people who got along well and decided to work together and make one-offs or like an annual, right. you know what I mean? Right. Which is good. You know what I mean? I, that's fine. There's a place for it. But it's hard to get that outside of the uh, current uh, readership, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. or, or viewership or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. And so um, the, the problem that I was trying to solve is essentially create some kind of a, a product that people can put their work into and then... Uh, kind of send it out into the world and hit more uh, basically scoop up pe readers and whether they're people who are here right now or people who are going to see this in the future. Um, because even within the indie sphere, and this very much goes for myself, nobody knows everybody and knows mm -hmm. what everybody else is doing, really. Even people yeah. who are super hooked in. And so if you pull in interesting people who are doing interesting things and you take little sampling of stuff and um, kind of put it in a blender and you have a nice variety of options, then uh, people can kind of have a sampling of what they, uh, you know, what's, what's in the space. And that's kind of my goal. No. And I, I think that that's, I, when you, when you announced this idea, I was I was kind of hoping that you and I were kind of in a similar space. And I feel that 
and I, I feel that we were, um, because it's, I'm, I'm attempting to do somewhat something similar here on the channel. Um, although I have to chase the YouTube algorithms and things like that, but, <coughs> but you, you're, you're adding this extra thing into it. You're, you're adding the magazine, this kind of nostalgic idea this this idea of holding the physical media and really returning mm -hmm. to this well and that's another big factor yeah it oh. is 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 go doing on, sorry there's media. a there's super chats coming in and i'm i'm trying to pay attention to a lot of that go on <laughs> no i'm just I, I was just gonna say that physical media was our primary focus because i think that there's a certain certain legitimacy with physical media i think that people um if you're gonna put your best foot forwards i think it's mm -hmm. almost always going to be physical media first and um you know i've had a lot of people talk to me and approach me about hey when's when can i buy digital can i just get digital and everything else um you know i want to do that and i'm thinking about maybe revising the way we do things in the future mm -hmm. you know but for this first issue um i really wanted to stay focused on doing the uh, uh physical first because that mm -hmm. to me is where people go oh well it's not a real magazine oh well it's not this oh well it's not that it's just basically a newsletter or, you know all mm -hmm. these other kind of things that are not true yep. um and like just immediately cut that off at the pass and say no we're doing physical right off the bat and that's going to be our main focus so yeah. um yeah. you know that that was a whole variety of things that factored into my thinking there and for me, it was really important, and that's one of the things that I were. Uh, I was, Jake, stop uh, being gay. <laughs> yeah, Jake, I was really, you know, kind of hardcore about was the physical media because, in the author sphere, at the very least, the things that like Brian Asher does, the, um, you know, sign uh, the sign and greets, the mm -hmm. conventions, stuff like that. You need physical things to show people when you're there digital is wonderful but at the same time my part of my local marketing strategy tactic strategy is just scattershot you know i leave my books everywhere libraries um small uh, like used bookstores things like that just put them everywhere i've left them in some pretty interesting locations just for fun uh, but that's everything you're saying yeah. chat just equate everything he's saying right now to a sex joke with what yes go for, it. <laughs> go for it go for it all I'm over just like how many children does daniel have anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sowing the seeds all over the land. Oh, no. no um oh, no no for things like God. like personally <laughs> even for me there's this uh there's this little bookshop in a local town that's gets a lot of business because they do special events especially in the fall and the bookshop does outdoor signing so you just set up a table and put your stuff out there i can take copies of anvil mm -hmm. with me for my book signing event there and they'll be in front of people i can leave copies of anvil mm -hmm. in my friggin dentist's office if i want <laughs> to. he won't care physical well, things just randomly placed around that people can look at give you the opportunity friggin Starbucks down the street has a book swap. I can put copies <laughs> of Anvil on the book swap shelves and that gets the word out. You know, and that's, and that's what makes me so excited to see, because I remember, and, and like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't like the nerdiest of, of kids. Like, you know, I, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I was a kid. The Pokemon thing was a very, you know, gotta it, catch them all. <laughs> right yeah i was never that guy people are like no you gotta get them all i was like why oh man like why not just get the ones that, like you want <laughs> i was not i uh well that might be a controversial thing but my first but my favorite pokemon are not actually from the first gen and mm -hmm. it's because the first pokemon game i had when i was a kid little tangent here was not actually the original like everybody had like what was it red what were the red, red blue yellow, and uh yellow yellow red and blue yellow. And yellow. Yeah, yeah, all my friends, all color. my friends had those. All my friends had them. I didn't. The first Pokemon game that I ever had on Game Boy was Gold, mm -hmm. which was second gen. And 
because of that, like, don't get me wrong, I watched the show, but I didn't get to interact with those Pokemon the way that that all my friends did because they had the original like games. I got to interact with the second gen of gold. And uh, my buddy called me a hipster one time and I told him, fuck you for that because he's like, well, dude, you just always like the stuff that's just, I'm like, no, it's just like, I just interacted with the things at different times. And so, no, like Cyndaquil, my favorite fire Pokemon of all time. Like Cyndaquil, fuck Charizard, like that little bastard can go get raped under a bridge somewhere. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. But like, well, because I'm tired Ooh. of fucking hearing about him. Cyndaquil <laughs> is a fucking baller. He's adorable is, when he was little. We're, we're, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, my point being is that going back to the nerd origins of me, I would see this stuff on the shelves and stores and the magazines and stuff, but mom and dad and I never had the money to pick it up. And now I do. And now with what you're doing, I have the ability to actually buy that thing pick it up, and then hopefully do exactly what Daniel said. Leave it somewhere for some kid. I'll pay for it, free of cost. So some kid who's similar to me can pick it up and go, wow, this is really cool. You know, because I didn't I didn't have that when I was younger. This this thing, that, this, this thing that, that's <laughs> happening now with online creation and all that, it doesn't exist. Sorry, I just saw the chat. Uh, it, 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 didn't, it didn't. <laughs> this is why I don't pay attention to the chat. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but this thing didn't exist. Well, I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> I, it's been it's been a week, but this thing didn't exist. The ability for me to do this, I, I, I couldn't have just. I, I, I could not have just found indie creators back in the in the late 90s early 2000s it's damn I mean, impossible and no it was it was unless you were at some like unless i'm local. not saying it's impossible but it was local bookstores it was like and nobody well, knew about that the so. market is changing and i think it's already changed um more than i think a lot of people have uh like giving it credit for essentially. So, you know, that, that's kind of something that, that, um, you know, I, I think is probably going to be evident with this, uh, magazine and with a lot of other stuff is that I think as the indie sphere starts to try and kind of like build bonds across the various subgroups, uh, if people mm -hmm. are willing to do that, you know, uh, I think that people are going to realize that there's a bunch of different interesting little um, things out there that they want and they don't know about yet. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are currently still in a model of, uh, or at least we have been in a model of, for example, um, like Ethan Van Skyver and mm -hmm. Eric July, where it's yep. like you have a big following, you produce product that you're following once you sell product to your following yeah, you know what I mean? gaggles and gaggles of of, of books to the yeah, following that and, you've already yeah yeah, yeah and, brand marketing mm -hmm. exactly and i mean i think that's definitely going to work but what i think is already here now is that there is a sort of uh growing sector of the market that like they might they they probably like Eric July, you know what I mean? And they like Ethan Van Skyver well enough, right. sure, but they're not like if they buy their their products, it's not necessarily because they really like them all that much. You know what I mean? They're not buying it to support yeah. that person. They're just buying it because they want something outside the mainstream, they want something interesting. Mm -hmm. And then uh as that market well, grows, there's gonna be a lot more people, in my opinion, who it, if I can offer the inverse to you really quickly, I think a yeah. lot of people who are buying from Eric July and Ethan Van Skyver, um, I bought, I mean, Isom, it's, it's, uh, you know, I mean, you know, and I've got my signed copy over here. I bought it because I was, I, 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 I believe in what Eric July is trying to do. Sure. But, but that 
to a point will only go so far. And then people will start saying, okay, well, Eric releases three books a year. So let's say three months out of the year at various times, right? Say winter, summer, and then next winter, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get at the beginning of winter, at the end of winter, and right in the middle of summer, I'll get a book from Eric July. What am I going to fill that space with in between? Mm -hmm. And I think that there are people out there that are going to look for that. Is that somewhat of what you're touching on or did I just? Sure. I mean, I, I think that's part of it, but I, I also think that there's a lot of people who are just not engaging. Like I, the, the thing that I've noticed with uh, comic skate, for example, is that um, most people involved in comic skate still very much like the original, the older superheroes you know what i yeah. mean and they're still engaged with the fandoms over there i think that there is a growing um market of how do i want to put it almost like more normy consumers who are not big yeah. fans in a very particular area they're just generally dissatisfied with the mainstream they these are people who oh, okay okay no normally would who if you go back 10 years 10 20 years ago they wouldn't be going to conventions you know what i mean they would just no. be watching whatever's on tv the they, convention you know I mean? scene is something that's really new in the last like 10 years as far as its popularity goes sure yeah. and it's popularity. becoming more popular obviously yeah. the convention scene goes back as far as you know as conventions however have, long but yeah. my my point is is that there's more i would say casual consumers Mm -hmm. entering into the indie market and Agreed. and Agreed. i think that um really what i'm looking at is kind of those casual consumers and saying there's a lot of really interesting stuff out here that you might not encounter unless you were doing a deep dive on mm -hmm. one thing or another you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah here's a bunch oh, of absolutely richard you know, here's a bunch of different stuff the for you to explore. No, and it, but but that's what that one that's what he needs to do, and two, he's not for 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 lack of trying to pump you up too much. You're not trying to tap into one well. Mm -hmm. You're trying oh, yeah, to no. reach into a bunch of different wells and go, hey, here. Which one? Fantastic Mizda strategy, by the way. <laughs> but two, doing what you're trying to do is saying, hey. There's all these other artists out there because because the the one and I and I okay Richard so tell me and and you may you may have come to this conclusion in a different way that I have come to this conclusion but let's see if it's somewhat the same so there are people out there saying I want something different I want something different than Marvel I want something different than DC I want something different than what's just out there right mm -hmm. now. And my answer to that something different was, well, I can't, I, I, I legitimately can't just pick one thing because there's so many different things out there. And so my idea was to platform all of the different things. Is that what, is that what you're going for here? Because well, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I guess it's more sort of, it's sort of like that. I would love to do that. Right. But I just don't have the, um, what would you call it? The bandwidth right now. Well, yeah. So right now it's kind of like, I'm going to who, whoever comes to Anvil, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. there, there's multiple pieces of this puzzle or that I've been thinking about. Right. Right. And one of them is I want it to be a sampler platter of what's in the indie space occurring right now. You know what right. I mean? It has to be. And that's part of the reason why I haven't really had, I don't know. I, I have not gone backwards very far with Iron Age Media is that I'm very much like what is happening right now? Because if you start going back, then you need mm -hmm. to go farther back and everything else. But, you know, what's what is hot off the presses? What's new and fresh in the indie sphere? And uh, what's the best of that that I can give to you this issue? OK, so that's the first part. And then the other part of this is. I also want to start um, increasing the viability of people, um, the viability of being an artist or an author in the space, okay? Because it's all well and good for, um, like there's, there's already a ton of really good magazines 
in this space. You know what I mean? As far as like pulp magazines, mind you, they're all um, literature focused or they're, like I said, there's some comic skate magazines. Right. There's right. not many that have, I, I don't know of any that have straddled the line like this. Right. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the thing that I am trying to do is say, all right, well, we are going to uh, pay for everything that goes in and it may, you know, it's, it's not going to be like, you know, buy, buy a new car money or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> right. but, you know, maybe it's not even a, uh, the way inflation's going, maybe it's not even more than, you know, two dozen eggs, but, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's at least something and it's going to be consistent. Consistency is my big key. So it's, mm -hmm. I, I want it to be something where, uh, we're changing the tone of indies. Yeah. At least within uh, the market, which is like, if you're good, if you send something in, we will pay you for it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if it's, you know, if it's um, also, you know, sometimes things don't always fit exactly in. And that's another big learning thing that I had to do was like, I kind of just put out an all call for, you know, hey, send me your stuff. And like, <laughs> people were like, <laughs> so what kind of stuff do you want? And I was like, man, I just, you know, well, let me think about that. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I, I could have done better. And then um, we got a ton of submissions. Oh my God. Yeah, we, we really did. And I, so I, it was, it was great though. I can't imagine the inundation that you got with all of that because <laughs> uh, like, but, was fun. but <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's right. Daniel, cause you worked on this. So you, so like, yeah, that was a fun Daniel, three weeks <laughs> yeah daniel already has more of a behind the scenes look than i knew like well, i knew this was coming i i knew this was coming oh god probably a month or two ago when you when you started talking yeah about probably it. whenever i first started talking about doing it yeah, yeah i think yeah but but i i am not i i uh, i'm just the megaphone like i am no good until said things come out right they're just like they'll be like hey royce this thing is coming out but until then go away and then those guys will go and do all the behind the scenes work, which is fine because then when I, when I get to see the thing, I get to one, take the thing that you guys have been working on, uh, and use it for my own purposes of my channel. So thank you for that. Uh -huh. Welcome. And then two, get to be genuinely excited for this thing that I'm looking at for the first time. So that is something that that I will say that uh, uh, Daniel and Richard don't have that I do have is I get to although I'm kind of like kind of in the know I'm like not like really in the know but I get to see this stuff and genuinely get to react to it. So when you guys saw me tired as hell on Monday reacting to this and going holy crap Richard did it. Richard just did this thing that like I I wasn't I wasn't even sure what you were going to do. And it was a very similar reaction that I had with um with Eric July. I wasn't sure what Eric July was gonna do. And yeah. I had a very well, similar reaction. And I really reaction. appreciate that video. That was uh Yeah. I, was I saw it and I thought it was gonna be a little bit more uh more more of a meme <laughs> than it ended <laughs> up being based on the title. I was I was like, okay. As much but, as did you not like my title. Heartfelt. Oh, I did. I just thought it was going to be kind of jokey. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, no, it was in as much that, as I made fun of you for it. It was it was believe it oh, or yeah. not. That was in all seriousness. Like oh, I, I could tell and I really appreciate it. Yeah, just no, whenever I first was, saw it. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I heard you just <laughs> like, oh, give me a hard time. well, I could have, but it never crossed my mind once to give you a hard time. Like and I, I was I was dog tired that day and i was like i i was like i don't know what to do a video on and i but i couldn't get my mind off of your release and just watching the enthusiasm around it and it literally the enthusiasm around anvil gave me the energy to it's weird i think trippy's onto something if trippy's down in the chat like i think trippy is onto something about like energy being able to throw being able mm -hmm. to flow from from vast distances from people to people because I'm starting to feel that more and more, but that I, I couldn't get my mind off of that. And 
when I did the video, well, I think, what did I, the Iron Age cometh, all hail the king. Yes. Is yeah, what I, I think I, I mean, named. Yeah, I, I, it was very, very kind, and I appreciate it, but I thought you were, I really thought that was going to be a little bit of a, a gig. <laughs> I, but it was, it was legitimately in all seriousness because I felt the feeling that I had when, when I uh, just Monday, oh my God, dude, just the enthusiasm that said, and the tweets, my, they didn't. I can't imagine what your tweet wall was looking like because I was only I was like, a man, I am like shill mode activate. I was like, retweet, retweet, retweet. We were I, know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. And like, I, but like, I, my, my tweet wall was absolutely retarded. And I was like, I, and I was only tagged in a couple of them. And I was like, I can't even imagine what you're going through. And, I'm looking at this and all I could feel was a sense of pride, like an immense amount of, and it's not even my project. It's just, and at this point, I hope that I can call you guys friends instead of just co-hosts, oh, but it was just, <laughs> it was just this immense amount of pride that I had that a friend of mine had this goal, accomplished this goal, and then has this much enthusiasm around their goal. And so when I when I was sitting there thinking of how in the hell I was like, okay, because we all call you King Richard, and that is somewhat the meme on the channel. But when I was thinking of how to phrase that title and how to appropriately make sure that what you were doing was not dismissed in any way, I was like, I'm going to take the meme and I am going to make it serious because that's the one thing that I can do. Convoy Bebop is in the chat. Ask him how many memes I take that are supposed to be fun and haha -ha and make them serious. And so when I was like, I'm going to take the meme of King Richard from Iron Age Knights because the people who get it, get it. And I'm going to turn that into a powerful statement. That was my goal. Because when I saw what you were doing, I saw the enthusiasm around it. It was all hail the king. <laughs> Be, and not jokingly, because of the enthusiasm. Because when people, people will, it's kind of funny. People think that I, like, they'll come, oh, like, you're Iron Age. No, I'm not, actually. That's, that's a different guy, right? It's, but the, the Iron Age guy. dot media has taken on this new life since the first time that I came across you months ago. And it's yeah. and what you're doing has grown into something that is above and beyond. And that's kind of where I wanted to take the all hail the king thing is that it is above and beyond just anvil. Yeah. Well, and, and that was the intention of that. Yeah, no, I, and, and I definitely got that. And I really appreciate it. And one thing that I've kind of realized, um, well, I, I don't know when I had this thought exactly, but is sometime this past week. I also don't when I have thoughts either. That uh, um, <laughs> I was like, I'm very, you know, it really is genuinely very humbling. Um, I know, I know everybody's goofing around about it, but people really are genuinely putting a lot of faith in me to deliver something, yep. you know, and um, you know, it, I'm just, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that they're doing that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That, that is an act of, um, act, an act of faith that everything is going to pull together and that, you know, um, like we're, we're going to be able to make it all work. Now, of course, yeah. I'm, I'm very confident. I wouldn't be putting myself in this situation if I wasn't a hundred percent confident I could uh, <laughs> pull it off, but no it's still, indeed. I know. Right. <laughs> um, but you know, it's one of these things. $9,000 worth of pressure. <laughs> I know. I know. It just cracked it. I was like somebody. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tech. Really Alan just cracked nine grand. Yeah, did it just, just do it? Yes, we did. Yes, day. we did. Oh shit. So, oh, Wow. <laughs> 192 backers i i nine thousand dollars we we literally were having this conversation earlier in the day we could be drip fred sales and i think we'd have a good chance at hitting the 30k uh stretch goal honestly because we've got over a month over a month left yeah and we mm -hmm. it's it, it's the performance really has just been incredible yeah i'm 
And, and most of that has been through our supporters. Everybody retweeting it and putting it out, talking about it. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's the word of mouth in action. Yep. The, and yeah, it's and some people like um, there, there are several folks who have, you know, gone way above and beyond what I ever would have imagined somebody would do. You know, they, they, I can't remember who it was who was talking about um, printing out posters with the like the I, I don't know if it was the QR code or the address for the um, uh, campaign. And I was like, man, that, that's really nice. Like, thank you for doing that. You know, that's awesome. And Before I go, I got to go, but I need to say this thing. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh. I need Richard's face on Vegeta saying it's over 9,000. <laughs> I can't hear you. I don't have my ears in. Chat, do not Two fail me. Photoshop. Chat, don't fucking fail me. I need Richard's need face to... on Vegeta. Get it's over 9,000. Yeah. Okay, I will be right back. I got to check on the kids. Do I need to be like, holy, do I need to be screaming into the camera or something like that? I'm trying to remember how that actually looks. But anyway, um, he is yelling, but it's fine. <laughs> this will be good enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's really funny is somebody just said it's like uh, 12,000 Canadian. <laughs> I was on, <laughs> I was on with uh, Michael uh, Bancroft last yep. night on his stream and uh, he pulled it up and it was like 11,000 something or other. And I like about, <laughs> I, I should go back and watch. Cause I think I'm like, <laughs> my that eyes, like out of my head. Because oh I was like, God. oh my goodness, before I realized it was like in didgeridoos or whatever it is yep. that they use down there yep. as their uh, currency. Yeah, I was watching the uh, money. I was watching the video and I saw his the the screen pop up when he brought it up and I'm, I had that instant reaction, but I also looked directly next to the number. Mm-hmm. Like my uh, my eyes just went, whoa, that's a lot of money. And then I looked next to it and went, A U D. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got fooled for just a second longer than that. But <laughs> anyway, so um yeah, it's it's been a it's been a fantastic experience and you and uh Jake have been a huge help. Like genuinely, there is no anvil without the two of you, you know. And uh um, so you know I'm in your corner, man. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean it's it's good to have people in your corner and uh Pay your King Richard tax. Okay. <laughs> I thought, yeah. Okay, that's funny. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I saw somebody threaten to go Robin Hood on me if it's not good. And listen, I... It's good. Uh, it, it's going to be good. And uh, we are going to roll anything that is above a certain amount into issue number two and get this thing moving. You know, because... Uh, right now with issue number one, everything was kind of just out of pocket and on a prayer and um, it's going to be so nice (laughs) not to be in that situation for the second issue. So (laughs) it's going to be the same amount of work, just a lot less stress because you know what's Yeah, exactly. I'll actually sleep for the Mm -hmm. like four or five days before launch. Yes. Um, And Robin Hood, you don't have to worry I, I did the editing for everything. And those of you <laughs> in the chat who have worked with me know that I am very critical professionally. Uh, the work that I did do with the contributors, not as much as I expected. A lot of the stuff that was approved for the magazine and even the stuff that we didn't approve was well above and beyond my expectation going into this before I even started receiving the stories. So everyone that submitted, you guys did a fantastic job. Oh yeah. And, and thank you everybody for submitting, like even just submitting is an act of faith. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) That, that uh, you're going to uh, send this in and I'm ultimately going to put it in something that, uh, uh, is worth, you know, that you want to be associated with. So uh, top to bottom, I can't thank everybody, especially everybody here, because you guys have been like really at ground zero and, and part of the core uh, group that has, uh, you know, been able to make this happen. So uh, thank you guys so much. And if uh, I was going to say the other thing, that we're going to talk about. And if Royce isn't back yet, well, actually it kind of stinks that Royce isn't back yet. Cause we can't 
do a split screen here. And well, hold on. Can I? Sh no. Oh I mean, wait. I it back. It won't be too long. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say the other thing we need to talk about tonight is uh, we need to catch up on some of what Jake has been doing with yeah. three six five infantry. Let's see. So. He's uh, he uh, he has a book now. You know, he's been. Oh, he's I, I, been have a, I, I have a I have a a rumble chat here for two dollars from Kikomon, oh. uh, uh, about Jake. He says uh, three six five infantry never held a Nokia brick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could shoot those things with a nine millimeter, and they'd still make a phone call. <laughs> have you seen that video? Yes, I think yeah. I have once or twice. Yeah, and as yeah. someone who owned one, yes, <laughs> I, you can run those things over with a truck and they. Oh still man! Phone call. Oh, definitely. Oh, Trucks are nothing. Literally, the only reason I got rid of it was because of the functional features of new smartphones. I know. If not, I would still be using that same goddamn phone right now. <laughs> there. Yeah, I just I I needed to I I've been saving that that rumble chat. <laughs> the uh, the comic skate chat over in uh, Michael Baincroft were kind of uh, razzing on the Iron Age moniker, and they were suggesting different kind of, of yeah, they were uh, kind of giving you the business and, and whatever else. And I my one of my suggestions was we should have the Nokia phone age. That's, that's <laughs> literally the indestructible <laughs> age. Literally. <laughs> That's yeah, that's what the kill, Iron Age evolved kill it. into the Nokia phone age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, right. Oh God, the yeah. unbreakable Iron Age. Yeah, and, awesome. and for the record, I have I have been here. It's just that there's been a lot of spotty internet tonight, and yeah, it's been kind of killing the mood for me a little. <laughs> no, you're good, man, dude. No, we've got storms. We've got storms here tonight, so I fully expect a power outage. Or Speaking something of. Soon. Killing the mood. I, I'm going to tell a little anecdote here that just occurred with my beloved wife, who uh, you may have heard her make some kind of frustrated exclamation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ago. how King Richard gets murdered. It gets on divert, stream. divorced. Yeah, it, it becomes anyway. <laughs> she she gave me my my coffee like she normally does, and I wasn't really paying attention. And I'm still congested, so I can't really smell very well. So I'm like sipping it, and I see her over there looking at me increasingly agitated as I'm just like taking tiny little sips of this incredibly hot liquid. And uh, finally she holds up a little uh, April fool's sign and throws it on the ground angrily. And she's like, it's just water. It's just hot water. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> so I was just drinking hot water <laughs> Oh, I just come, I love your wife. Your Fool's wife too. and my wife are no, never allowed to meet long. ever. The, the just, I love your wife. She's awesome. <laughs> it's like problem child, but with grown adults, it's probably she was. Happen. She was so angry about it. Too. It's not a lot. Well played, madam. Well played. <laughs> well played. Do we do do? do so so we do. I have coffee. So now. so if you are King Richard the Iron Heart. Uh, obviously, it, it is it is Queen of the Iron Age, but what is her heart? I'm I'm assuming is it the like it like we gotta come up with a with, with, we, chat. I think chat. somebody said the Madam of Metal or something like that. Ooh, the Madam of Metal. <laughs> Ooh. Well, my my uh, wife's name on online for a long time has been Metalhead Maiden. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Madam of Metal. Well, that works. Ooh. Ooh. That could be interesting. I dig it. There's a lot of parallels here. You, you, you got the you got the metalhead maiden and the iron booty. Uh, <laughs> that was not over that there. That was not me. That was my <laughs> drunken friend, Convoy Bebop, down in the chat. I, 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 oh, God. Horizon oh. Talker. I think Iron Maiden is is uh, probably copyrighted. I don't want to be sued. Oh. Thank you. Not a good idea. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that is the case, actually. Oh God. Uh Brian McCoppin over on Rumble for five dollars says everyone take a shot slash drink or your nineties gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I already did. <laughs> but yeah, but it's not on video, more. so you can't prove it. So uh Jake is definitely <laughs> so three six five entry. So 365 in Infantry is 90s gay. And with that being said, good sir, what are you working 
<laughs> After being violently insulted. Um, <laughs> Vi oh, oh, that's right. Your generation record, believes that words are violent. Record. Yes, words are go. violent. There we go. Hey! Oh, there we go. hey. One, he lives. He one, lives. One night only. I'll no, it's just but it's an entire shuffling act that's taken place. I understand. I get it. <laughs> uh, Finally get your baby face on screen. Uh, there you go. You make us all look, <laughs> look haggard. It's funny, it's funny too because I haven't even. I shaved a couple of days days ago, so now it's just double shit. <laughs> oh my God, everybody gives me crap for everybody gives me crap. For, like rice yeah. grow a beard. I'm like I hate beards so much. Like I'm I'm yeah, a white no. guy, dude. I'm a white guy. I'm gonna look 95 by the time I'm 40. My, my problem is that the mustache <laughs> always comes in looking like freaking Vincent Price over here. <laughs> Lean into it. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> just, just go in with the transatlantic accent and everything to boot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three, right. six, five, infantry. Oh, All right. Now do I have the right to shill? Of course. <laughs> yes. Oh, go, go my channel is for good sir and and lay on yep and first off just to put my little stamp on anvil since i was rudely interrupted by mother nature Fucking well you're bitch. on the uh, you're on the freaking <laughs> thumbnail so i would uh, hope well, you had something to do with anvil <laughs> exactly <laughs> no no uh i i'm i'm layout designer and formatter so i'm responsible for putting story illustrations slapping it all together in a nice handsome form for both paperback and digital handsome, and i can only sexist. hope yeah <laughs> get the hell out of here <laughs> <laughs> well you heard it from 365 i'm out guys i <laughs> i'm out your own stream right? shuts yeah. down <laughs> no i wouldn't i uh, know but down. it's and i'm looking forward to really getting into the weed i'm looking forward to getting into the weeds of it because this i i've done a lot of formatting troubleshooting getting the uh, 2022 annual together and it's I, I really i really just do look for look forward to seeing this come together and it one i move like a freight train so hopefully the first draft will come quickly and then we can troubleshoot our way through everything as we basically have been all the while <laughs> Yes, um, and also I am the one responsible for editing the trailer, which was uh really fun to work with, especially with JVP score. The queen has and I spoken. agree, looking like Vincent Price is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the queen hath spoken, the mustache. The queen hath Indeed. spoken. She she may be the queen of the Iron Age that, that people keep saying that. So yes, RH Snow has been dubbed the Queen of the Iron Age Honestly. by my chat. So. Correct. And I am the number one Iron Age booty daddy, so I, I feel like my chat deserves the right to, <laughs> to name the queen. I there's might as well there's just the lean. deflated pull quote. I might as well just lean into it at this point, because, you know, sure. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so, gosh. Jake, man, it's been a while since I've talked with you, and I, I just, I dude, I haven't had the time. To keep up with like anything no, I, that I anybody is doing legitimately and I, I like dude i've seen the the dms that you sent me and just how you're moving what you're working on the strives that you're doing and i have not god's honest truth i have not had the time to dedicate to to what you have been sending me uh but dude just what are you working man dude you're just you're moving at lightning speed and 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 the the, All right, I'll, the passion I'll, I'll and what you're doing so just go just go just just the floor is yours all right all right i'll all right i'll i won't be able to pull everything up as quick as i'd like to so i'm just gonna drop stuff in private and leave you guys to sort out the rest <laughs> but long story short uh and 365 in and of itself um has been growing growing feverishly growing fast um the big the big development obviously that happened between now and then is one the 20 uh, the 22 annual collection came out it's available on lulu and amazon and it is all 24 stories released last last year as well as an original which is the springboard into a serial i'm going to be running this year starting at the end of april 
Um, give everything Excellent. just a buffer because internet. Uh, <laughs> but 25, 25 stories in all. And because I am apparently in maxing yes. mode with this damn series, um, are we dubbing everyone with titles? <laughs> yes. Yes, we have. have. We, we might as yet, well at this uh, point. But Chat yep. Lord. I'm gonna dub you the. I'm gonna dub you. Uh, all right, all right. Literally. If, if uh -oh. 365 <laughs> Infantry gets gets a title, he is the Iron Age Renegade. There you go. I I just feel like just your vibe gives off you know a, a renegade, you know, the rebel without a cause, you know, type thing. So now we need the Lorenzo Lamas theme song <laughs> from that show. <laughs> oh god. It's funny too, actually, because when I originally started 365, the original title was going to be Renegade Riders, but the problem was I discovered it was the name of a spaghetti western, a handful of legitimate western novels, and <laughs> leagues more of those crap cowboy romance paperbacks you yeah. see in like every used bookstore since time and memorial. Yes, indeed. It was, it was that moment at you know at which I knew this name ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> just seeing just all just the saturation yeah. i'm like oh yeah Ugh. but yeah so paperback collection finally came out that was a load off my chest <laughs> thank god then of course after that came quarter uh the fourth quarter spring 23 which after this come the summer we'll have been running this ship for about a year now which should be exciting and this past quarter has been some of in my opinion some of my strongest work to date uh, Ride the Black Country, uh, Facing the Pack, uh, Blood on the Bike. Just the, all five stories I wrote for this quarter were really, really satisfying to finish. And even more so is that I've been working on the audiobook series thing. I, I hesitate to call it an audiobook because it really isn't. It's being done totally episodically, no serial elements, um, very much kind of like old school radio. Uh, right. But Alan Firedale, Desert Delinquent, I'm now a pilot in two episodes in. Our third is slated for this coming summer. And that series is a hoot to do, if, if I dare use such verbiage. <laughs> because <laughs> I, it's, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's a one man show, but I'm so hard on myself. I think it's probably one of the best one man shows I could pull off because I'm narrating it. I write score, which, by the way, dropped an entire soundtrack album to it. Uh, the first half hour album I've ever done. See, this is the crap that I was saying earlier. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I'm just like, like doing like the YouTube thing. And you guys are just like, oh, we're going to do a soundtrack. We're going to do stories. We're going to do, you know, multimedia marketing. Royce, what are you doing? <laughs> Talking totally about fun. stuff on the internet. <laughs> drinking beer. <laughs> drinking beer, dude. Like I just I just right. turn a camera on while I drink beer. You guys think it's something magical. Right. It's not. Right. <laughs> dude, how the hell? Well, admit okay, admittedly, but well, I can't even use that excuse because then I look at like Richard and Daniel. Like I was gonna be like, oh well, you know, Jake, you don't have like a wife and kids and all that. And then I look at Richard and Daniel, I'm like, no, I'm just a I'm just a schlub. I, I am the <laughs> schlub of <laughs> <laughs> get good scroll well, you know <laughs> i'm trying <laughs> right. no but i mean part part of the reason why i'm kind of glad you know the the cards have fallen the way they have is because it's given me the chance to sit down and just work 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 as much as i could especially because uh, there's been a lot of troubleshooting oh, no, with no, this no. you know yeah. just to uh -oh. i know duh, duh, duh. no but That's i mean just to something. just to talk about quality <laughs> oh my god the chat really is demonic tonight my gosh i just they, <laughs> loving they, it they, Love loving them. they put but things just, out there and i can't yeah, stop yeah, it just just <laughs> just just to cap it off though uh th there has been a lot of troubleshooting in this too i mean to get mm -hmm. quarter four over the hump i literally just told people for like two weeks i'm just going underground I've got five stories to finish. I've got a half hour, which turned out to be a 40 minute audio show to do. And it's just like, I just don't have time to sit down and promote it the way I'd like. <laughs> and so we descend further. <laughs> Anytime um, Roman has anything to say, we descend further. 
exactly. <laughs> well, it's um, it's it's actually I mean, right another... at nine thirty. So <laughs> I we yeah. are in fact descending into chaos further. Uh, no, no, so. it's the hour and a yeah. half mark. Yeah. We're I'm I'm trying not to, but it's it's not. The chat can't. The chat literally cannot oh, handle more than an hour and a half no, before I mean, they just spurg. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a no, deafening silence. I'm sorry, God, Jake. God only knows. I, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's frozen for me finally. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Give me a second. Uh, it, it yeah, be Jake, a... why do you look like why do you look like the background that you're sitting in is like a murder <laughs> motel? <laughs> yeah, it could Walker. be. You never know. <laughs> it's just, it's, just, it's, it's fine. Like, it's oh, my first novel is being written in here. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the uh, I just I was looking at the wallpaper and I'm coming, just like coming in I've, here all Jessica Fletcher like. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at it and I was like, man, he just he you look like you're in a motel from the show Supernatural, and I'm just like. Ah, oh. <laughs> that explains it. That explains <laughs> it. The magic. And what you don't see are the dead bodies oh behind God. the camera. Anyway, he he's exactly. currently he's working be... out. Yeah, he's currently working out his first horror. Right. <laughs> he, he's he's doing some testing my, on what works. My, my first <laughs> my first real horror. I've been writing scripts since God knows when. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> but just to get just to get back on the track, just get back on the track. you know psycho is one of my favorite films so uh, i'll take it and there's All that right. one time you stabbed to death that no i'm sorry yeah, yeah no we don't talk about exactly. that. richard so the oh, truth sorry, is richard. that there's a devil's trap what in happens in vegas stays in vegas i know the <laughs> statute of limitations and all that anyway what <laughs> get back after getting back 50 billion times over there has been a lot of troubleshooting in the workflow i mean a good example of it has been quality candor which god knows i try to do because you know i'm crazy i'm thinking oh with enough coffee anything's possible <laughs> you know um and i try to do a a series cult refresh which is still going to happen i'm just moving it to a bi-weekly format because my psychosis said hey try to pull off a 20 minute fully edited fully researched and recorded video a week you know uh, why uh, not just do the entire work of a local pbs station as a single human being go to town what's the worst <laughs> No problem. Jet lag, and I've never been on a plane in the past few months. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. I, oh my God, it's every, and it was always the same procession. It was always Monday, curate, easy. I review this, I review this, I review this, highlighting these awesome indie works, spotlights for anything from rare ass uh, 45s to uh, literally a fine art gallery just set to music for like a solid minute as like a break because I don't have any ads or whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Tuesday rolls around and I'm like, exact <laughs> ain't that the truth? Uh, but <laughs> what happened, you know, but what happened always was this. I tried to have the script done on Tuesday. It was never done on Tuesday. So I tried to do it Wednesday. And the thing is that it was always finished so late whenever I'd go to record and this was back when I was recording on a condenser mic. This beautiful Ugh. little thing is dynamic. Wait, um, wait, wait, so wait, I was wait doing... whoa, whoa, whoa. What dynamic yep. do you have? Um, this was just, um, uh, the, the name says Mauno, but essentially I just grabbed this. Oh, off okay. Of... Yeah, yeah. It's the, yeah. yeah, no, actually I have one of those. Uh, um, I, I actually have one of their soundboards up there. Yeah, for, actually, yeah, for a US, yeah, for USB mic too, mm -hmm. it's line level noise is almost dead silent, which is great mm -hmm. for me. They're that was, not because that was the problem with the condenser. <clears throat> yeah, I was there. No, the condensers are bad because they pick up everything. They'll pick up a car going down the road five miles from your house. Like oh. un unless you have a sound treated room, condensers <laughs> are really tough to well, the condensers that I've worked with do that but i've worked with higher dollar condensers right. that are vocal booth 
condensers. Yeah. So no, maybe I, that's I just totally my get it. I, I totally yeah. get it. And it also drove me insane trying to edit trying to edit Alan Firedale because mm -hmm. doing the narration is easy because I found the voices kind of just came naturally. There were voices that kind of fit within my register. I wasn't going to stretch myself to do anything outlandish or pantomime. Um, there are some really funny nods to various people. I mean, the voice of Alan Firedale himself uh, started as kind of a nod to, um, I believe it was Robert Easton who played Lieutenant Sheridan in an old Jerry Anderson show, Stingray. And it's kind of this bouncy Southern sort of cadence, but mm -hmm. slowly it just kind of slipped it, it kind of just merged with my own voice. So there's this kind of pep and pickup to it that doesn't quite have the same, you know, up and down quality that Easton's voice had. But recording all the voices, that came easy. Uh, sitting there and reading over the script. Yeah, you stumble on lines here and there, but you just go back and you re-record and then you edit mm -hmm. all of that. Um, but it was sitting there and having to listen for every saliva mm -hmm. click and every syllable, mm -hmm. and it just I, I sat you there get the sick of hearing your own we, voice the night you before get, we all you... launched uh quarter four. <clears throat> yeah, oh, you do, especially oh, dude, because it's... when I look back on it for someone who's totally untrained totally untra actor, it's good stuff. It's just I'm sitting there listening and I'm hearing every single flaw. Mm -hmm. And it's like you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, especially when it's the night before and you're doing final mix on mm -hmm. everything. Um, Dude, I remember. And I, it also I remember, was. Good I remember for me that I. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say in that in that same regard, like knowing no, no. knowing the vocal stuff. Like I, I remember after like my second demo desk, we actually went to a, a more professional out of, instead of just recording it in the basement because we realized we suck at that. But after my second, like there was this line. I can't even tell you what song it was. I, I think between like, because we did two weekends and then the second weekend, I think I did 16 hours worth of singing. Um, my voice was shot that Monday, yeah, but cool. yeah, no, it was, it was bad. I, oh, I couldn't, I, I physically it. couldn't speak for like, <clears throat> I physically couldn't speak for almost three days after that. Um, and I, I, and I, I pushed myself as hard as I could because well, it's on an album, yep. so you can do that. So I can actually get. It's not like a live. It's not a live area where I can kind of hold back a little bit, and you you get the live ambient. But anyway, but I, I was listening to this track, <clears throat> and I was like, I don't like that line. And the guy who was recording us goes, "Why?" And I was like, "We'll play it again." And I was like, "See right there." And he's like, "What are you talking?" And I had him zero in, and he's listening to it. And he goes, "I don't hear anything." I was like, "I bitched out on that line. I don't like it." And he listened to it, and again, he goes. <laughs> I get it. As soon as I told him, I was like, dude, I just, I pussed out. Right. And it's, and it's crap like that. When you, when you start listening to your vocals, you're just like, I really said, I really did that thing that way. And for me, it was I, really, I sang that line that way. Like really? And then when you're listening to your vocals oh, and you're totally. like, and I do it with YouTube videos now. And I'm like, do I, did I really say it like that? Did I, did, was my voice really doing it? And you, you have to learn to not hate your voice. And especially with a condenser microphone, a condenser microphone will make you hate you more than you can possibly. Because, I mean, every right. mouth noise that you make, it's like condensers are the devil. Oh, it's hideous. It's <clears throat> hideous. And, and, the th and the funniest thing is, the most I ever put my voice out on recording this was back when I was recording the pilot around... September, October. Mm -hmm. I think it was around October or so. Mm -hmm. um, I originally had the idea to kind of lean into the sort of hellion quality of the character. And I'd been listening to a lot of Ian Gillen era Black Sabbath. And I tried doing mm -hmm. the witch cackle he did whenever he sang Black Sabbath live. Oh. And that shreds your voice. I got, I got one good take of it, but that shreds your vocal cords, man. But that's, oh God. Fortunately, yeah. that's the most strenuous thing I've ever done. I've ever done for the series and I have it as a sound bite so I can slip it in when I need the ambience, but it's just mixing this See, past and episode, that, especially. And that's why I never did like no, the witch like, cackle stuff because that you're right, dude, just doing exactly. that, just those manipulations that people like you Projection use muscles. Too. Oh my, well, well, that's the thing too, is because mm -hmm. you actually have to push it forward, you know? So it's not, exactly. it's not like, cause you can't just, <laughs> Like you can't just do it all the time, right? Like that, 
that shreds the voice all of the time and people and that's what I love that that's what I love about the artistry of it is you get to figure out those things that you get to do like once in a while and when you have the opportunity to do and it you in front of a, it, you clip it and you reuse yep, it whenever. and you're done because <laughs> it you you can't exactly. do it all. and when you get that perfect one you're just like nope done it's just it's not like because it sometimes exactly. it, it hurts sometimes it hurt. it, it, it physically oh. hurts to do that and it's yeah I shut up herman yes i yeah, talk and, with my hands fuck and off herman part of, and uh, <laughs> I used no, to do uh, haunted uh, haunted houses yeah, during the Halloween. I mean, I'm the Italian in the room, so yeah. There you go. Oh my God, you never shut up with your hands. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Always leaving them around. I used to do haunted <laughs> houses for the but Halloween season. The long, and the long and short of cackling was nuts. Oh, yeah. God. Cackling is, dude. If you've ever tried it, just for like, dude, I perfected it's... the Joker laugh. That. And it's I, it hurts, uh, dude. I too, still, awesome. I still have trouble with the Joker laugh. Like oh, I can I get it. the his small, like, <laughs> you know, the 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 lower one, but I actually have to get into his voice before I can get the. But that yeah, so loud, I. that loud bellowing, like from like I I dude, I've tried it and I literally fucked up my voice for a day off of one. It, it I fun it. It's hard. Funny, funny story. Funny story about the Joker voice too is that Hamill's okay. Really weird story about how sometimes Love influences Hamels. get mixed up. Mm -hmm. uh, the the main the main villain in Alan Firedale, General Langdon, who's kind of this surrogate dictator character. Mm -hmm. He originally started as a salute to Frank Reddick's uh, portrayal of the Shadow, the very first version of the Shadow. Oh you know, wow, the weed of crime bears bits of fr like that kind yes. of deep gravity yeah, yeah. sort of thing. But as I well, and a lot of that more didn't more, necessarily come from the voice that came from the microphones at the time, though. A little a bit lot of a lot yeah. of that came from because oh, they because sure. sure. super high mid microphones that we just don't we just don't have I mean well you we do have microphones like that but we did but but we don't record like that so we think it's a voice thing it was, but it was actually just yeah. a microphone well, part, thing well, well part of it definitely well well part of it part of it was definitely was definitely reddick and part of it was likely the microphones because i imagine there were a lot of ribbon mics still going around at the time mm -hmm. um but what happened as i went what happened as i went on and you know was doing redoing the lines redoing the lines is some of that sardonic uh mark hamill joker started slipping in so mm -hmm. it went from trying to do this very constricting you know hear the throat kind of voice to something more Something with a bit more life to it, I'd almost say. The problem with Reddick Shadow, it, it trying to do it as a solid character outside of the presentational way he had done it, is that one, I'd be ruining my vocal cords in the opposite direction as opposed to projecting yeah. and really letting loose. I'd basically be sitting there, you know, permanently constricting, you know, and for time like memorial. You're being choked at all times. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Well, it's you know, and and and, and Hamill pulled from a lot of that too. That too. I, you love know, I love Langdon. Love Langdon. Well, you know, yeah. Hamill pulled from a lot of the old time stuff. That's where he kind of came up with the voice. You know, Correct. dear friends, oh, we are gathered here today to you know the the famous one that we know. He pulled from a lot of that, and it, and a lot of the it was old time it, commentator voices. It was right. well, and that's that's where he got a lot of that from. He was trying to and, go for showmanship. Hey, what, well, right. but well, and showmanship and voice is is it's mm -hmm. really really hard to do, if you've ever even just tried to screw around with it, right? Oh yeah, it's and but I love and, his because it was mildly <laughs> sinister, at all times. Well, so, oh my so god, great. yeah. Well, but it was jovial at the same time, mm -hmm. and that's where right. that's where Hamilton. Ladies really and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yep. you know, and, <laughs> exactly. and it was in it's. It's it, it, fuck. It's a really, really hard to do. It's actually it's one of the voices that I love. I love playing around with because there, there, there's so much going on in it. There, there's the, the it's just it, it's jovial. It's thing, sinister. It's the nicest it, thing about voices. The nicest thing about voices like that too, 
because I've done that. I've done, I've toyed around with some of the voices Rob Paulson's created over the years. But the thing is, I never use them in the show. Mm. There's a lot of really weird ones, like in episode one, Hair Trigger Towns. Um, the mayor of one of the towns Alan winds up riding into, uh, I'm not joking, is literally Reagan pitch shifted. <laughs> and I said I did post production pitch shifting. I literally was doing the spitting image version. Uh, for those who don't know, Spitting Image was a British uh, satirical, uh, political, largely political comedy uh, done with these grotesque puppets. If you've ever seen the Land of Confusion video by Genesis, you've seen Spitting Image puppets. Oh, God. Yes. Um, and, and actually, Reagan does open and close the video. Um, but that style of voice, but with a little more... Oh, oh look, my we have We have been gathered here today for a birth <laughs> <laughs> well no, no no this one's about a week and a half old that's a lovely beautiful chicken. though beautiful yep nope this is one of our new layers it, we Please. this needs awesome. to become like a i guess a segment <laughs> no 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 you need a cramp tim pool style and start your own chicken city <laughs> hey, I, well that i so my well, oh, no. no, I probably I can't live stream from there because I don't actually have internet out of the area. But yeah, no. Um, but yeah, it's uh, no. That my 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 wife's out of town and my daughter is amazing because I'm at work when all the when the the regiment goes. On. I know how to take care of chickens, but I don't know how to take care of my chickens. <laughs> right, seemingly right? always the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And so, like, you know, my no, my my daughter is amazing, and she's so she's she's handy. I know how it. to prepare like, chicken. <laughs> I also, I also know how to prepare chicken, and and generally, so the so here's what you do: so you get one of these out, right, and then you hang it upside. Anyway, yes, right. <laughs> Oh, 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 you mean cook it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm a few. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're on the right track. All right. You're, you're yeah. getting there. is the hard part. <laughs> oh, God, I hate plucking. All right. Uh, that, right. I've never done it. I don't. I don't. Well, I have done, done it. it. I No, I have done it, but I'm usually the guy. I'm several steps before the plucking. I usually, I'm the guy that has to go get them and then yeah. make them. Anyway. Make All right. Them I'm dead. Drag people into the domain of me shilling once more. As I do. <laughs> Indeed. No, because what the hell happened got... to the stream? <laughs> the chickens this time. <laughs> we, 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 we shill, we shilled Anvil. We got halfway through me, then all hell broke loose. <laughs> Any... What, dude? Um, no, like we were, we, dude, we almost didn't shill Anvil until what, almost thirty minutes in. Ooh. Because yeah, I think we, we, we were still doing intros at about. Yeah. And we had so. like I had a what's in the box like Brian McCoppin sent me a bunch <laughs> of stuff clapping, and that's what it was. And then I'm sorry, Richard. I apologize. Oh no, <laughs> I'm 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 pleased as punch with uh, with the way everything's going. So I'm happy. Right. Lee, gee right. golly gosh, Willikers! Yeah. I just really love what you got. <laughs> pleased as punch? Are you well, fucking there's kidding a, me? There's a there's like yes. a silver punch bowl over here. Don't okay, mess I'm gonna have one of the, uh, one of the hirelings. Bring I, me a glass. Oh, if you think, oh, if you think my, Richard's bad, I've been watching spine. enough Harlan Ellison to fill you with archaic verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'll reach I, to the screen and smack you in the next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slap you so hard you wake up and say, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, All God. Right. What was that? Back, old, back what was the other one? Line. Nope, never mind. Oh, Lost no. it. Go <laughs> All right. Go outside and get a switch, kid. Mm, been there, done that. <laughs> so if, ironically if raised enough, by I have, you know what that means. I I I own the belt that used to beat my ass. Not even Me screwing too. with you guys on that one. It's hanging I in mean, my closet. Nope. I my dad is like, here, I'm too big to wear this. You can have it when I was like a teenager. I was like, oh sweet, dude. I wore that thing with pride <laughs> like i wore that thing with pride oh now you tell people that and they're like oh my god you're dead like, shut up like <laughs> i'm yeah oh never mind that's a rant for sunday all right <laughs> all right all right i will I'm sorry. drag everything back kicking it no it's fine it's here's also the problem too jake, thing that I've jake kind of here's known. what i want to do with you jake one of these days all right and it, and it may or may not be on an iron age nights because we have somewhat of a 
we, we try to keep a thing. I want to have a stream with you one day, Jake. And I, I've known this since the first time that I met you. I want to have a stream with you. We're not talking about business and we just shoot the shit. And we just we just go off. We're not talking about art. We're not talking about we we just we just have a fun stream and we just banter and just give you, <laughs> like I just because I feel like you are as quick witted as my friends are and I don't like that but that's also comfortable for me. <laughs> so I want to set something up with you where I we will just dodge your bullets with great admiration. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. <laughs> All, all right, this, go on. Sorry, continue your show, good, sir. Was, no, it's just like two drinks in. He starts throwing all these hot political topics at me, and I'm just like, ooh, ooh. Just like, <laughs> just like, a, just like a, they a don't even have to be freaking, political. Just, you know. It's you. Wait, and how do Thank you know it's not. political? Have you seen my Sunday streams? He's just going to ask you about things I've, like I've whether or not you had raw milk. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not that big say. of a deal. It's fine. Please don't bring up that <laughs> Or if you that watch legitimately. <laughs> No, god damn it. Like literally the worst moments every time people bring up the worst moments. They'll bring up I, I, I don't they will bring up six six of the worst moments that have ever happened on this channel. And they're all from the same fucking stream. You know, well, it was an interesting stream. It was memorable. <laughs> it was a memorable stream. This is why people mention it. We love the you, Lit. Only Dad, guest, you the watch. only <laughs> guest that I have ever reached out to and apologized <laughs> for how I, I, that was. And Lit Dev was super cool. He's like, no, dude, you're good. He's like, I had a fun time. He's like, I'm like, don't, I'm, I appreciate you for lying. I didn't say this to him. Don't be Lit. nice to me. The, the Yu Gi Oh incident. Oh and there's God, so many that's things. right. I knocked down the <laughs> shelf on that stream. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> The shelf stream, the core stream, and the raw milk stream are all the same fucking stream. That was a banner night for you, my friend. Headliner. <laughs> Just oh, total headliner. I... <laughs> I think we, I think we did right. with the man his umpteenth crisis for the evening. <laughs> all right, I'll, oh. find, all right, I'll finally Jake, get back to Jake, hawking my continue nurse. your show, because I got about eight minutes before we need to go to the chat and all the super chats and all right, all and right. do all that. So no, but so <laughs> and get back to Anvil. This this has been the fi finding my kind of workflow has also been interesting because there's always tons of projects I'm trying to juggle in the background, which is part of why I wanted to move quality candor to bi-weekly. Also because it'll just result in better quality of product. I've tried editing in two, three days. And what I've done, people enjoy. But if I have to do that for weeks on end, I'm going to like throw in the towel in like two months. It won't last. You know who it's loves to edit stuff in two days? <laughs> yeah, but not videos. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. That's, yeah, that's you do all the video stuff yourself. Exactly. Um, but, you know, it's it's that I'd mentioned, obviously, I'd sent you like a dozen, like a half dozen ideas for uh, children's books. And actually what happened is I wound up juggling some of the ideas around and I've been working on this kind of slice of life series it does it does the anthro thing just because i wanted to try it out as as more of a youth oriented product and i've also been having a lot of fun conceiving it just because it's very it's very different from everything else it's a lot gentler it's a lot warmer it, <laughs> i guess to, to indulge the cliche it gets you in your sensitive side a, you know a little and i and i actually like that because it it gives me variety because i get really bored with certain things like that's why i'm glad i take that's why I'm glad I take breaks from uh, 365, but also why I need pro projects like that, because the most recent announcement I made is that I'm returning to Red Light Bites, which is our newsletter, which is also combined with a Flash Story every week. And I'm restructuring it, I'm restructuring it to pull more people into the paid uh, subs. Uh, because after, we have one free story at the top of the month, but then the rest are under the paid subscription. And it's two to three, depending on how many weeks there are, how many Fridays there are in the month. And then the last is part of this special uh, uh, series I've been sitting on called Solar Joint Stories, which is basically first person narratives of people totally talking from 
out of the bottle, shall we say. They're just off their face mm -hmm. telling wild stories. And I've been sitting on two that are just so some sometimes body sometimes chaotic but all of them have these very fun characters at the center of it that i really enjoy um working that i really enjoy working with and writing so red light bites will be coming back but i'll need to manage that because that'll literally be me on top of writing the serial which will be happening at the end of every month uh, Roger Steele in uh, Steeled Spies, which it, which we started as a backdoor pilot sort of thing in the 22 uh, annual with the story Lines Among the Lambs. And essentially it's just going to be picking up from the end of that, but you don't really need that first story. But I plan on releasing all, I believe there will be nine chapters of the serial plus that pilot will gather up as a novella at the end of the year. So it's way too many stories but it also means three books at the end of the year which ought to be interesting uh because there'll be so many exactly because i mean i did the math and there could be 24 to 30 of the red light bites because i give myself monthly breaks once the quarter's finally out top of the month top of june top of september top of december you don't hear from me until the last Friday, which is when the last install, which is when the steel, the steeled spies installments are released. Um, Kevin and I are also juggling a comic at the moment, and I won't go too deep into it, but uh, Mr. John V. Page and I have been getting up to some uh, musical antics. So I hope to share that uh, in relation to 365 as well. Uh, it's just been that plus all the stories i i've been keeping this one kind of close to me but i'm working on an anthology uh that's purely for print paperback i'm not sending any of the stories into magazines it's just a total 10 stories done out of whole cloth um because i went through a very indignant period shall we say <laughs> about magazines the state of magazines and this is something i I wish my internet hadn't freaked out because I would have loved to have gotten in on talking about the <coughs> market. My frustration has always been this dichotomy between, um, between the pro zines, which many people are averse to not, not just for political reasons, but just because insane wait times, you know, you get rejected for, you know, any little thing really. Uh, but on the flip side, the problem with the indie scene is that it's largely been hobbyist. And my one hope for Anvil is that, especially with a full head of steam like we've gotten in this first issue, we can make this a regular stable. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not full rolling submission like any of the legacy magazines. I mean, for God's sakes, the magazine of fantasy and science fiction is still rolling mm -hmm. under whatever fumes are powering it. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know. But I, I hope that something like Anvil and Anvil itself can take us out of the hobbyist sphere where it's annual submission windows, where it's you've only got a week to send stuff in. That's that done deal. When you never get a chance to figure out where the hell anyone is accepting submissions yeah. because we had stuff like Rolan broken up by... I think it was literally just money grabbing crap is what broke up Rolan, which was one of the great um, one of the great networking sites and the great ways to find listings for magazines that were, you know, accepting, you know, work. So I this um, tentatively titled the space time quarter mile, this anthology is kind of a partial fuck you, but also a partial indulgence and in kind of my love of speculative fiction because i've been sitting on a lot of stories a lot of concepts there's no restrictions on length there's no restrictions on content subject there are things that are more science fantasy <clears throat> there's stuff that's very esoteric there's stuff that's there, there's just a very it's why i call it speculative fiction it's varied so mm -hmm. it's that project Plus this uh, children's series I want to get off the ground. Yes. 
it yes exactly in and well, amongst you know the, well also they, the other thing too the other thing i will say is that i am although the pilot doesn't paint the picture and I think I let some things slip in episode one. Alan Firedale, I'm actually trying to gear as a f not family oriented in that I kind of, you know, blunt the tip of it. It, it. it treats all of its listeners with maturity. It doesn't pull any punches for for Pete's sakes. The first episode is about towns being blown off the map. Whole towns <laughs> gone. I'd. You, we do not pull punches in Alan Firedale. It's a very surreal, very over-the-top kind of series, but there's a heart to it. There's a warmth to it that I don't think is in a lot. It, it's it's just enough warmth where you, the characters endear themselves to you, but it doesn't stop the action from, fingers crossed anyway, hitting like a sledgehammer. Firedale is one of the few series I don't get a chance to beta read. Uh, all the stories, they get read through beta readers, and that's why I felt really confident about Quarter 4, is I was literally told, marked improvement across the board. But Firedale is kind of the blind driver, where it's total instinct. It's total sit down, write the story, edit the story. Does everything make sense to you? Does it feel right? If so, yes, go and record, write the score. Literally, the score for this past episode I did in a night. I sat down. I just couldn't stop. The music just kept flowing from me. Like, That's oh, right. I know nights like that. If if I, I gotta be up, to, I'm not joking. It went from writing this really cool vintage '70s '80s library electronica to how have I done Miklos Roja? You know the guy behind Ben Hur Double Indemnity <laughs> by way of Tangerine Dream at one in the morning. What the hell happened here? Like mm -hmm. I'm turning the stock flute sound in my DAW into a mellotron <coughs> just total i get it field. i know these i know these words you're saying right now <laughs> exactly. like, you but, start talking about music stuff i get it man i get exactly. it but just just Bryce to cut the long story short because i know news. we got to get into the chat um 365 infantry is ah. basically going to be kind of boundary a, a quite literally a foundry of content weekly stories um, the serial is going to start at the end of April, and we also have a three-page one-shot Kevin and I are working on. Uh, I just sent him the script for page one, and it's also going to be released on a monthly basis and then gathered for the 22 annual collection. So, fingers crossed, I got three books out at the end of the year out of this, and this coming quarter uh, keeps knocking things out of the park because I've now established tons of storylines across all five well all four because the fifth is an anthology but across all five of the main all four of the main series now the fucking drinks kicking in <laughs> like um yeah. i was gonna oh, say man. you're not you you're not even a full hand down on the chair tonight like <laughs> you're slacking like daniel is still fully upright in his chair hi oh, never mind what is that? Hi, West. Oh, God. Well, Daniel was fully upright. In the, after, the after show is going to be interesting. Yeah, no joke. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but for people who want to know where you can find everything, 365imagery.substack.com. I've got my link tree in the main bar on the website. So you can go to the Bandcamp link for the Alan Firedale soundtrack, which, by the way, costs you five bucks and if you buy the album you get a free month of the subscription service so you get to try out what we've got and hopefully get a taste of what we've got coming at the end of the month um but there's that there is my band camp in general i'm still wor working on gathering ideas for that dungeon synth album uh and actually some of the writing for episode two of alan firedale really kind of helped with that because there was a lot of fantasy-esque material but there was enough of a sci-fi bent for me to work it in but it's given me some ideas for that project as well so keep your eyes peeled on that i've also am trying to keep up on the monthly singles releases but april might be the one time i slip off the wagon mm -hmm. and of course quality candor i haven't gotten a chance to do an update video yet it might hell it might only come out after i do the first episode after restructuring the schedule 
But the hope is to do two videos every month. One's an episode of Cult Refresh, and one is a documentary on something that isn't really talked about. I've been floating uh, everything from this uh, a retrospective of what's called Phenomena, which is an old uh, AOR concept project uh, that's featured the likes of Glenn Hughes, Ray Gillen, John Wetton. Um, just tons of big names in metal and hard rock. And the other has been a long time passion project, which is the radiation wave of cinema, which is a study in nuclear centric film released starting around 79 now, through to the end of the eighties and to the end. Now of the you're cold. saying words. I don't know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's about to happen at some point. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, at some point, it happens like every five minutes. People just start talking about stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, pretend right. to be smart, Royce. Just but also, pretend, just nod, right. nod and smile or look busy. That's literally. <laughs> but but also, quality candor, those who don't want to deal with YouTube and any of their mucking about that may or may not happen in the next few months. Oh I don't God. know. This platform is about as predictable as. Unless God you're watching on Rumble, and Rumble is. The place to be uh no youtube is still the place to be but rumble is rumble is the place where i'm gonna be okay well, well yeah good news for those who enjoy rumble the channel is the channel is broad i say broadcast but the channel is hosted on youtube daily motion rumble and bit shoot uh bit shoot mainly because i'd like serious? to see something that isn't political I, I am dead serious I am. because they're probably the one. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious about that one because of of all things, I actually wound up watching videos on there growing up. And two, they're probably the most lax of the copyright. I, I've oh seen. God, yeah, no, yeah, daily I've motion. Only, I've only fuck. ever. True, dude. My oh. one of my videos is blocked in is blocked in. One of my videos here on YouTube that was content ID'd, which I totally understand because a lot of the music, the main albums I review are always available digitally. So I'm expecting content ID to hit them. But one of them is blocked exclusively in Russia, of all places. <laughs> <laughs> Just exclusively. We're not going to get into Russia. That. We're not going to get into like, that. All right. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so, Wally Candor, Jacob Kelta, dot Bandcamp dot com and 365infantry.substack.com link tree is on the home page so you can get to amazon lulu everywhere you need to go you can use our link tree to get there awesome and i have dropped uh all of the links that i have down in uh the live chat below the live chat's actually moving rather quickly uh the rumble chat is moving i have no idea how fast but there uh the rumble is telling me that i am 99 comments behind Plus, <laughs> I am over 100 comments behind, and uh, I've been literally hovering over uh, Rumble chats and all that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, I like I like the, I like the way Herm I like the way Herman thinks. <laughs> I like the way Herman thinks. Right. That's frightening. Dude, I used to. No, I've been I've been to the uh, the Buffalo Bill uh, Museum out in uh, Colorado uh, and his uh, grave site and all that. So. Oh, really? Pretty interesting place. Awesome. Yeah. I grew up in Colorado, so you know, field trips and whatnot. So right. interesting. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. I don't even look at the chat. I just assume whatever Herman says is wrong. <laughs> well, hopefully um, it's wrong in this case. <laughs> I am so glad that you do because sometimes he says stuff and it's right. And I'm just like, I'm glad we assume it's all wrong. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, me too. That's exactly what you, I was Herman. thinking about. <laughs> oh, God. No homo. Uh, did... <laughs> I want to just, oh I want to start answering that, but almost homo. And people will be like, wait, what does that mean? Between mother and dad. <laughs> people will be like, wait, but oh, what? <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. Uh, Brian dad. McCoppin for $5 says, I know this chat is fun, but man, Rumble, uh, Rumble uh, chat is lit. The Rumble chat is, yeah, because they can get away with some stuff. The Rumble and Locals chat. Specifically the locals chat because you can drop memes and stuff over in locals and it's fantastic. Um, so thank you so much for the five dollars, Brian. Brian literally hit all three chats tonight just to prove that he could, 
And that's just like whipping it out in front of everybody. And it's just like, oh, really? Like you're just like in front of God and everybody. He's like, yeah, I'm in all three typical chats. Florida man behavior. Um, oh my God. Is he a Florida man? Fuck. Yes, he is. Yeah. I can't escape these fucking people. No, you can't. Floridians God are taking fucking not, not only Convoy, is he Florida I blame man. you. If Convoy Bebop is still in the chat, I fucking blame you, Convoy. <laughs> not only is he Florida man, but he is Florida Batman. There you go. Beautiful. We're not going there. Anthony Rondinelli. Sup, y'all. Uh, this is for $5. Sup, y'all. Congrats on Anvil. All hail the Iron Age. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Uh, Herman P. Hunter, the Lore Forge for $5 says the mad memer strikes again. Yeah, he's mad. Is he a memer, though? Are you are you really yeah no he actually made the weird <laughs> destiny meme he actually yeah, he's a meme he, he memed my fucking hair that <laughs> hi Herman keep him on for two dollars over on YouTube and I'm gonna do the YouTube and then I'm gonna do the Rumble and then I'm gonna go over to locals if anything comes over on locals uh I, I, I'm probably gonna miss a lot of things. Uh, keep them on for two dollars says pay your king Richard tax which I actually heard Richard read that one yes. Uh, yeah, I, when I, I was, chuckled about that. Yes. <laughs> uh, Ral Nyanzi for four ninety nine. Uh, to, uh, the, it's for so there's two questions here. It says one: When is Anvil number two opening for submissions? And then, so, uh, well, let's answer that one first here, real quick. Um, issue number two uh, submission guidelines are going to be out in April. Um, when in April, I don't know exactly. I'm going to say mid-April. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm planning on studying the submission window for the month of May, probably. Okay. Because um, that's... Uh, I, maybe, maybe I should only have it like a 12-hour window. You know what I mean? And then we just reject everybody who doesn't meet our, our, <laughs> it, our arbitrarily <laughs> ridiculous guidelines. No, no, I'm joking. I, I thought I thought Tanner was trying to hand signal me something. There. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the king comes out, peasants? Yeah, no, Be no, gone no. with I, you. No, I'm You've thinking, had I'm your time in front like, of the king. The king needs to do more important things, like I'm count busy. my yeah. shillings. Dear God, I have to, what do I have to do? Make shady backdoor deals to get a goddamn story read around here <laughs> jesus yeah. well, no no I, i'm thinking probably either the full month of may or the first three weeks of may something like that um because that would actually be roughly in the same timeline i'm going to try and replicate the timeline uh that we did for issue number one but with a little oh, bit great. more uh awesome early well well give us a little bit more flexibility on time with the uh um what art essentially so i'm 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 preparing to get started on that a little bit sooner so yeah because yeah, i think yeah. i think the editing wise i think the short stories i mean we're edited and pretty well done um probably a little bit um, um real you know, quick this crazy, this just came in the chat this is not a super chat me. this just came in chris chris m uh says uh, will issue number two be on indiegogo two or probably switch to your website uh prefer all my do uh prefer all my donations go to you are there so are there plans so uh, okay uh, i mean gu that's guys that's a big that's thing multi-part that's a multi-part question uh yeah. was there another part to raw nyansi's question before I yes there was i just this is in the regular chat <laughs> and it's moving so okay. i just wanted to uh, let me go. Let me go. I think I can save that one. So let me go. I'll save. So Chris, it's not a super chat, but I did save it because that's a good question. So let's go back to yeah, Rawls' question. I, I, I could see it so, right now. Actually. Yeah. So number two was uh, from Raul Nyanzi says, uh, uh, I tweeted something at a drink with crazy about clashes on the frontier. Well, I don't have my fucking Twitter <laughs> open. Like, I love how people are like, Roy, we're doing the live stream. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I'll go live and it, and it, I love my chat. I'll go live. My, my chat's just like, dude, did you see this thing? And I'm like, N no, I'm live. And they're like, well, I DM'd you. And I'm like, guys, I don't have DMs open while I'm live. Like, there's a lot of shit going on right now. Uh, but no, Raul, okay, hopefully I will see that as long as 
uh, my Twitter notifications aren't absolutely fucking insane because sometimes I just have to clear them because my Twitter notifications have been getting, I'm assuming like increasingly chaotic. <laughs> a I've lot been chaotic for a long time. I'm used I, to it. I I am not. I am not. I'm used to like, hey, you got like, here's five tweets for the day, and now it's like, hey, here's fifty to sometimes over a hundred, and I'm like. What the? F I, yeah, I, I and so there are sometimes, and then on top of that, I have the gilded, and the gilded's like, hey, here's all the stuff that you missed throughout the day, yeah. and I'm trying to make sure that people. <laughs> and my gilt, my gilded is awesome. My my biggest thing in gilded is no NSFW, right? <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't show. That doesn't mean that guys like like the people, you know, just with the conversations that are had, and like obviously there's an anime section, and so obviously you're gonna have you know big to the anime girls. As long as it's not I NSFW, know. like whatever. If it's if it's suggestive, if it's if it's you know whatever, that's one thing. But like then, so there's the gilded, then there's the Twitter, and then I have stuff on Facebook, and then I have it, it just it, and then and then YouTube goes off all the time, and it, I'm I'm just like I, and then obviously you know I have a wife and kids and and all that stuff, and what it's just like I hell? oh my god, dude. And here's the thing, I'm my only moderator. I don't turn any of it off. My phone goes off all too. day long. And then I have a job. <laughs> well, I don't it's just, have it's insane. So, and the reason that I go on that little bit of a rant is because I want to let everybody here know if we don't see what you're doing or we don't get back to you in a timely fashion, it's not because we don't care. It is because there is one, we obviously we're human, right? We live the same lives that everybody else does. Two, it's because specifically we are targeting you to ignore. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. So, no, not that at all. Thank the exact you so opposite much for gracing us with your presence <laughs> tonight, King Richard. It, it's, it's very, I, I would... I would like to know if my lashings my could be I, slightly I, yeah. less than they normally are because it's, you know, it's, it's the anniversary of my first lashing and I would just like, maybe uh, you just well, don't use the... <laughs> Step away from the Oliver Twist impression. <laughs> Step away from the Oliver Twist impression. Is that what No, that sir, is? you cannot have some more. <laughs> Can I have some more, please? <laughs> I... <clears throat> oh, God. I love doing voices. They're fun. Oh, <laughs> I love how you got Oliver Twist out of that. <laughs> I, I well, genuinely have no idea where that where that voice got. that that voice. Yeah, is that dead. was that was quite mewling. I know. I know. <laughs> um, Please don't beat me. Anyway, um, <laughs> that that nope. That meme's gonna get worse. Uh, yep. Nope. Never mind. Can't come on for five dollars over on YouTube. Says bang tribute for the queen of uh, of Iron Age. R H Snow. Woo. Uh, she knows how to use the soy properly on the walk. <laughs> Always on the sides. Oh, God. I, I Kikomon's mad at me. I, I legit thought Kikomon was going to walk away from the channel when I told when I when I said I just I don't like soy sauce. I just it's. It just it soy sauce. Soy shame. Soy sauce reminds shame. me of like Ralph shame. from The Simpsons. It shame. tastes like burning. <laughs> It just, that's what fucking soy sauce reminds me of. It's just, oh God. Um, cool. key, uh, Chris M. So this is the question. Yes. Here, Richard, this was not a super chat. Uh, so Chris M. Um, says, well, issue uh, to be on Indiegogo 2 or probably switch to your website. I uh, prefer all my donations go directly to you. So... There's going to be a couple of changes with issue number two. I and I'm not necessarily, uh, you know, making any guarantees about anything. I I would also like to get off of Indiegogo, um, at least partially, because Indiegogo is a source of um, new customers. Which mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, of course, like the sales factor for that, sure. But more importantly, I like getting the word out, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm fortunate that I don't, 
I don't believe Indiegogo has shadow, shadow banned the campaign yet. Um, well, will they you shadow start ban? making some more money? They will. Yeah, they probably will hit the second one. You know what I mean? Uh, so as soon as that happens, then there's no incentive in my mind. Um, mm -hmm. That Which, said, uh, can we comment have... just how fucking sad is that, by the way? Yeah, it, it is very pathetic, but. You know, it's you gotta fight in the arenas that have the most eyes on them. Yeah, well, well you do. Also, well, I think what also would make it particularly stand out with a project like Anthem, get closer to your mic, Jake. You're quiet as fuck. My, yeah, so my, you're my, super. My bad, my bad. I'll hold. I'll hold it up this time. <laughs> yeah, please do. Um, no, but what happened when we were discussing, you know, Anvil in our little quiet cabal of Discord? Um, there was <laughs> something in front of each other. You know, kind of, yeah, exactly. Kind of came to a general uh, consensus about which is that Anvil really has no political persuasions. No, there is nothing they could have on us, really. It is a totally yeah. innocuous from the ground up project. So if we wind up shadow banned, it really is almost like canary in the coal mine, so to speak. Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and I personally won't be surprised because I I think that they, <coughs> you know choose things based on association all the time well mm -hmm. maybe not all the time but increasingly that seems to be what they're doing yeah um because yeah, they're, it's not, it, they're it's banning not that stuff you said one. the thing it's that somebody that you might have talked to once before mm -hmm. or had been on a live stream with a person that you that you didn't even know you were on said a thing and so we're just going to shadow ban you because of it like yeah and it and, just it's it's like the you know what the 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 seven there's separations a certain of amount Kevin of, Bacon uh, or something like that or whatever yeah, the fuck. There's a certain called. amount of bulletproof to that though with what <clears> we're <throat> doing because it's so open and earnest in its uh, projection of what we're doing that if they did shadow ban it, it would be very obvious that there was something up, you know, ulterior in play. Mm -hmm. As opposed to well, going after some of the as more if to vocal. say that like there's not something already all ulterior in play with yeah, the shadow banning. There's like, a lot of there's a lot of doubt that can be thrown at other projects. But yeah, but I don't think that shadow banning is never mind. Sorry. I, yeah, I, I mean mm. I regardless, I, I don't necessarily want to get too too far down into that before I forget what the rest of the question oh, was or what the rest of my answer was. The question was whether right. or not you were going to host donations. On yeah, you're going to do your own website. Probably, Can I donate to you directly? At, at best, I'm going to be able to uh, do things in parallel. Now, Ooh, um, so you're going to be on Indiegogo and also on your own website. Maybe. I don't know if that's going to be up and running in time for issue number two. What I will... Gay. What I will be doing... <laughs> at least is say that there is a direct subscription or at least a direct payment option. Okay. That, yeah. okay. And okay. That's good. It, it, will That's there be, will I have the time to build out because iron age media right now is getting clunky as a static site. Okay. It is it, the, the server um, creaks every time I upload because I am, uh, pushing a lot of data out there every single time. Mm -hmm. And if I can yeah. convert this to a, uh, <clears throat> to a live site, essentially that's living, uh, you know, basically it would be through, I'm forgetting what services it is. Verso, um, you know, and I could just push one thing. So I push one article, then it's smart enough to just regenerate what it needs to, and then leave mm -hmm. everything else alone. Yeah. And in order to get to that point, I need to do not a lot of rework, but it's still time. Mm -hmm. And then I would need to do another rework there, you know. And part of the reason why I decided to go with Indiegogo is that um, Indiegogo is outside of my control. And if this thing was successful, I wanted people to be able to see the success there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. And uh, if I had, I, I also, I just didn't have time to build it from scratch. <laughs> um, myself, but that is something that people have done, uh, using the exact same payment processor, uh, Stripe and next JS, which is the framework I use to build iron age media. So it's possible I could do it. I don't know if I'll have time. Um, I will make direct sales an option for issue number two. Um, so Good. yeah, but yeah, and, and absolutely. Cause that's another, 
you know, that that's right. Another, uh, another 5% essentially right off the bat that I would be able to reinvest into Anvil instead of just give to Indiegogo. No. And that, and, and that's what you need to be able to do is invest mm -hmm. in yourself in that regard. Well, yeah. And, and I mean, and especially in all the artists and everything else and the authors, you know, right now, I think we've, I personally just to, and um, yeah, exactly. And to, to try and pat myself on the back just a little bit here. I no, think absolutely I have, not. No, <laughs> sick of it. I, I think that I, I, I tried to enter into this with fair pricing as much as possible for everybody, you know? And I think that uh, Daniel and Jake have been the most generous with their time. You know what I mean? Um, right. So, you know, my, my goal is to, if this thing comes in, I don't see it as like a revenue revenue source for myself. I see it as a, uh, you know, additional money is just additional investment into this thing to try and make it better and make sure that the people who are involved are, compensated more closely to appropriately you know what i mean yeah. because it's hard to you know mm -hmm. it's hard to do not just that but building right. a somewhat war chest for continuing mm -hmm. programs well so. and also buying buying magazines because mm -hmm. um you yeah. know buying some additionals because right now honestly the rate that things are going at i'm inclined towards um doing you know at least the int minimum price entry for a booth of some kind at the H town comic con and just, you know, printing an extra 50 mags and taking them and trying to sell them. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because the, really the stretch goal, the 30 K stretch goal in my mind is a, like a double Y, a big booth. And I would want to have people have enough time to send me, ship me. Okay. Ship me 10 of your books yep. and I'll sell them. You know what I mean? and uh so on and so forth but if you know if i can sell them and if i can't sell them then i'd have to figure out what we're going to do yada yada there'd have to be some amount of good faith effort and everything else but uh yeah i would uh okay well we'll have you know, the I, would to, I would love to there you see go. you and, and uh, well i i Daniel. think we made a a promise several weeks back which was less of a promise and more of the chat forcing us into it as my chat does. But I, I think we're set for iron con 2025. Oh, well, yeah, that's definitely happening for oh, sure. Fuck yes. Me, sideways. We just have time. <laughs> we have time to put it together. God knows where this is going to grow. Um, yeah, 2025 is for sure. Okay. Um, Get on so board. Guys, boys. I, uh, really quickly guys. Um, more I want to make, I want to make, a uh, somewhat mild announcement, but it's really cool and it puts a smile on my face. Um, in my breaks to go check on the children's and whatnot, uh, checking uh, checking everything as I do. Um, a drink is crazy. Just hit two thousand subscribers a little while ago. Hey, yeah. So very there nice. Hey, there's a I, there's a certain uh, symmetry I, there. You were like one k whenever we did our first interview, right? Yeah, yeah. And now we're yeah, now that we're was, interviewing that was about that day. It was and we're that doing two k. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, I there seems to be with uh, with Richard's success comes my success. That seems to be. <laughs> I've been watching too much anime lately. I was going to be like that's like some rivalry works, shit man. or like I don't even. I've been watching like Black Clover lately because I didn't watch that back Iron in the Con, day. I'm a 25. We're, we're going to have to get in a fist fight. Is that, is that part of the. <laughs> I mean, we could do, but I'm I am allergic to getting my ass beat. Like it's, <laughs> Me so too. it's this really bad allergy. I get like black puffy eyes and then I start like bleeding from the dude. It is a dude. It is a really shit allergy to have, dude, man. Can Just you like. Imagine? Getting oh, in a dude. fight after you turn thirty. I don't. I haven't been in a fight. In a long time, <laughs> God so. no. Oh I'm God like, oh, no. Lord. High <laughs> school like, never ends. Yeah, you throw a punch and then throw out your back, and oh. you're just like, wait a minute, this was. <laughs> we like we like try to do something as a meme, and we're both like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we would do. We, although we, uh, uh, we could though, really. we could do like as long as we just like did like a perfect still. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. I need to pull this up. 
who the fuck brian okay okay we gotta share this florida man oh no Uh no now now i'm concerned (laughs) royce getting excited about something yep here we go this is from my locals chat Uh oh okay locals chat Uh oh oh Hey! <laughs> Just keep looking; it gets what better. Are... Hold on, I'm, I'm blowing this up here. Okay. Oh yeah, God. Yeah. Oh, ball. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> every you managed to catch everybody in like a terrible moment too. I, love I know. It. I perfect. know. <laughs> Me it's just being stone like, miserable. Yeah, Cheers, it's, 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 it's like he's been put in timeout. Dude, I don't even think I don't even think those are from the Voice same looks, stream because uh, I'm deranged. looking at it. It doesn't look like it's from the same stream. I think he no, cuts. It's, no, it's no, is it? No, that's the same because I. But Daniel hasn't been thing. that low tonight. Daniel yeah, hasn't. He is. But he's I'm low. Oh, yeah, have you been low? Oh, okay, low. Oh, he's been slumping. He's been falling between the cushions. <laughs> fucking ruler. Oh my god. I've been waiting for somebody to fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, locals chat is awesome. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's excellent. Oh god. Okay. Oh shit. Um <laughs> So can you put, oh, put images in the locals chat? Can what? You can yeah. post images. Yeah, oh, that's you can nice. post images. Uh, you can post images. I think video. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, no locals chat. You can you can do a lot. You can do a lot. You can say gamer words in locals chat. You can <laughs> post images in. I say locals gamer chat. Nintendo. Intently once I've had four drinks. Hmm. Oh man, that was great. Sorry, I saw that and I was just like, all right, I actually have to pull this up on the main rig because usually I keep locals chat just up on my tablet. And I was like, all right, nope, pulling it up on the main rig and I got to share this. Okay, Uh, Guilty Gearhead. Jake Sombrero, that was pretty good. Oh, that was great. (laughs) Fuck, Guilty Gearhead. Uh, I I actually laughed so hard, like it it hurts. Like I, (laughs) oh man, for $6. I promise this one isn't about you, Richard. I love you. This is an oldie, but a goodie. And that's not what he says. This is what I'm saying, guys. I know this joke. He goes, joke time. How many gays can you fit on a bar stool? Four, but you have to turn it upside down. Yep. I've heard that one, too. Oh, yeah. Many, many years ago. Yep. I've heard that one. Yep. Oh, oh, all right. We have made it out of the YouTube chat. We are now over into the Rumble chat. Kikomon. Kikomon for fifty dollars. This is breaking news. I don't have patience. Double the incentive to play the Kikomon song now. Or tell us about the hedge. Or give us a preview of the legend of Shalar. Fuck you, Kikomon. <laughs> or he says, don't be gay. Like eighties <laughs> gay or like nineties gay or like today gay. Today gay, like no, definitely wouldn't be today gay. Like eighties gay or nineties gay, like that's a different kind of anyway. <laughs> You're not gonna be LGBTQ ampersand apostrophe. Right, right, all right. I uh, can't go oh on for five dollars over on Rumble says gay rice. I paid twice to have the Kiko song midway. Now you need to play twice in a row. Not gonna happen. <laughs> At the end. Or one once percent. at the end and once at the start of Sunday coffee. Gay. Sorry, Kiko Man. One per show, bro. One per show, bro. Uh, Brian McCoppin for $5 over on Rumble says, just adding more to the Kiko Man song. Be- what the fuck, Brian? <laughs> this is just adding more to the Kiko Man song being played. Yes. F- Fucking Kiko Man. Show me, show you, mofo. <laughs> I said I'll play the damn thing. (laughs) Um, But I'm not going to interrupt the flow of the conversation. The first two hours is for the guests. Uh, uh, Kikomon over on Rumble. 
And for people who are like looking at like the rumble, like I don't see Kikoman's name. He has a different name over him, but I but I know the the symbol. Uh yeah. King Richard, best of luck conquering new land that no other retarded king is trying to conquer. First in the game. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't oh, that you, feel sir. good? It just it's this I get a slight stinging here on the side of my you know. <laughs> Oh, well, and, and Kiko Mon has has uh, supported Anvil, and uh, like I said, there's going to be a Kiko giveaway at some point in time. So uh, that's nuts. He yeah, he, he's an Kiko. awesome dude. So no, he really is. Kiko he really Mon's is. Best. And and for those who don't, for those who only know Kiko Mon in like the online, like like I've actually talked with Kiko Mon one on one, and the the guy is just awesome. The guy is awesome absolutely destroys us on stream whenever he gets the chance to but the guy <laughs> really is cool uh keep for two dollars says it's okay to be closeted gay royce <laughs> i mean one no it's not and two i'm never i mind. just got burned in gilded chat did you <laughs> yeah Fuck. do i have to I get the tagged with this uh UPMC life changing medicine. It says, Call your doctor if you show symptoms of RLSS. And it's a picture of me slumped in the chair. Oh, God. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's absolutely oh, hilarious. Uh, Geek on $5. Oh, Who is they, though? Legend of Korra? No, fuck. I, I hate you. It's always. Oh, God, if I of pinch Korra. my nose, if I pitch the bridge of my nose, more i'm gonna like freaking just snap the thing off <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my chat well, how did jake die turns out he pulled his nose off kind of like michael jackson anyway you can bleed um, you can bleed out from that apparently <laughs> oh that i'm just fighting words anywho <laughs> no i hey 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 i don't give a shit who you are i actually like i i i don't believe any of this shit that they said against michael no, jackson no, no, at I, all but no, i know no, but i also i am also not above making jokes ab, ab, about anybody it's, so it's it's 20 it's tw it's 20 it's 20 to midnight i'm allowed to throw hands over anything <laughs> <laughs> right uh Bruce. kiko on for two dollars over on rumble uh getting kiko on flat outside he's like nope getting away from youtube he's like rumble's gonna be the place that i chat from now on or at least the super chats anyway which a lot of people yes, have been looking for that on. and rumble opened up the gates to that so um which is awesome um but keep on for two dollars is uh go fund me for jake to get a nokia phone right one of them nokia <laughs> bricks yeah yeah dude joy i oh man god and then i go on ebay and it's just 20 bucks <laughs> <laughs> i'll make that a stretch goal, Easy stretch go goal. Fund me. yeah new stretch right. goal one make more, this one, one a, make this one a stretch goal. Currently is. <laughs> make this one a stretch goal. It'd be the easiest stretch goal ever. Keep them on for two dollars. Says Daniel, how much will it cost to tape a ruler on the chair? I've been asking for months. A million dollars, because I'm not ruining the seat of power, motherfucker. <laughs> it's tape. Right. You don't even have to. It's I'm not, not even... gonna mess with the beautiful upholstery. Okay. You have issues. Is there like a crease in it? Can you just like stuff a ruler in like the crease? Not in the upper part, no. That's gay. Yeah, uh, let him be stubborn. <laughs> Your face is gay. <laughs> Ooh, hostility. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm used to it with my chat. The shit that I see in my gilded on a daily basis, like, yeah, that's it's that. Yeah. You're, you're no one messes to... with the seat of power. Nobody this messes shit. with the seat of power. This uh, is. The secret to go. my success right here, this yellow gold piece of shit I got from nowhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> the middle uh, nowhere. Kiko Mon for $10. Screw you. I paid twice for the Kiko Mon song. You owe me the song twice. Well, Kiko Mon, I will one play it sure, once yeah. for you. I will not play it twice. I will play it once for you. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I, 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 I think, I hope I am all caught up on the chats at this point, and I will play Which the Kiko Mon song. Some Kiko Mon song. Right. I will play the Kiko Mon song once. Let's I do it. Yes. Uh, I got to pull it up. I'm going to do that. No. God, fuck. Stop fucking ads. I hate the ads. I. 
Yeah, the I wish I could log on with my main account, but I can't because Chrome defaults to a drink with crazy instead of my main account. Because you're streaming. Also not wrong, but I wasn't asking you, Daniel. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. Don't be mad. <laughs> Just get glad. It's the Kikomon song. I can't believe he got this played on Friday Night Tights. <laughs> Jake's having trouble watching. He feels, makes him feel worse about his own product. I, think. <laughs> I love how Jake's just how like, can, how he's can just making his life choices. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I come on the stream? <laughs> you know, this song gets better the more you watch it. I hate to say it, but it does. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show <laughs> Jake's just like sweet the... mother of God, whose poor Cassio was abused into making this. <laughs> this is old school shit. <laughs> oh, I love Jiko Beam. <laughs> Get in the corner, stupid cat. <laughs> Cats are the stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Because you totally put soy sauce on bananas. Yeah, I just, I don't put soy sauce on anything. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> you know the power of sway compels you you know there's God. an old uh old song by uh, a doom, doom metal band uh, named trouble uh, the band's named trouble songs called psychotic reaction i'll let you figure <laughs> out the rest <laughs> um Not ram wrong. just be ram and by the way i gotta say it like this ram uh he's one of the uh, he's one of the dudes that uh joined on a while ago ram it's good to see you down there uh hey, member for five months uh on the a drink of the crazy youtube it says 2k subs caucasian man i'm freaking late though that's okay <laughs> you're only a little bit gay because you're one of the ogs ram you're you're only like a little bit gay you're not like you know a lot gay but you know no, thank you so much, Ram, for being a member for five months, dude. I appreciate you. And uh, hit me up on the Gilded, man. Let me know how you're doing, dude. I haven't uh, I haven't talked with you in a while. So I want to make sure you're doing cool, man. Uh, yes. Oh, God. Uh, Chris M. says uh, it's a... And they, we're, we're not even into Super Chats at this point. We're just into regular chat. So we've descended into madness. Right. <laughs> um, the best uh, Chris M. Even. says it's 11.45 on a Friday night. Damn. You have me watching, Royce. <laughs> you can blame Kikomon for sending in like a hundred plus dollars for that. <laughs> Worth it. The question I'm asking myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a drink, a drink with crazy. You will question your life choices. <laughs> not sure. where you'll well, not where you'll question them. You just you will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this Oh God, Black Rose Comics! What's going on, Black Rose Comics man? Uh, you joined in right at the tail end of the stream because we are about to enter Shill Alley, where I tell all of my uh, well, my co-host this week, and then my two guests because Richard's not a <laughs> co-host this week. He's just a transcended co-hosthood, <laughs> right? It's only about half a co-host. Sure, left. that's what we call it. He's transcended co-host. Uh, uh but uh uh <laughs> daniel what do you got working on man shill no <laughs> i just do it for that reaction i fucking hate you like <laughs> I, just, this is my this is happen. my show for the week it's got nothing to do with me it has everything to do with anvil i did the editing work i worked with the authors the contributions that came in Every submission that we got was just phenomenal. 
And I said it earlier in the stream, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you all for submitting your stories and giving us the opportunity to make the best first issue that could possibly be made. Without you guys putting these things up there for me to read and check and for all of us to work out which ones we would be able to showcase. Cause I mean, come on, it, only so much space we could a lot in a single issue, but and also something had to be all. there. Otherwise I'd just be staring yeah. at like pages. <laughs> exactly. So thank you all for submitting and being involved and being part of the community. We love you guys. And Anvil couldn't be what it is without you. So Absolutely. my show is for everybody that has is in our chat and has submitted to us. Yes. Amazing. You guys. you guys are the uh you guys are awesome. You guys are the champions of the Iron Age, really, seriously. Because Truth. without this, uh, you know, I, I, people have asked me questions about things and it's like I am just observing, you know what I mean? I'm I'm taking what is being provided like out here and it's crazy the talent that is just uh, sitting around, you know, <laughs> like not mm -hmm. sitting around idly, but it's like, you know, you're just walking along and you find something amazing in this space. And so, um, you know, it, it's the only way that any of this is possible is thanks to you guys. So, you know, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Again. So that's my show this week. It's for everybody. I, 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 cause I could give first a of all, fuck you. Stuff. And two, I accept. <laughs> good <laughs> because it's a good show man because it is something that you worked on and it's... yeah well i can show for everybody but myself <laughs> but you did show for yourself because you were anyway uh, <laughs> if, you, okay. if you point it out it's no longer valid show uh, let's see that whimsy land shirt at least Nah, this is an old shirt. I want to. Uh, he's, just, uh, he's like, dude, I'm six inches into the chair. Uh, like, I'm not. Uh, we're not. We're not going. I'm keep going for ten dollars on Rumble. My bottle keep, in. Get keep going on for ten dollars on Rumble. Says, uh, play the Kiko Mon song again, or at the start of Sunday Coffee. Otherwise, you are a, and I can't say that word on YouTube. Uh, thank <laughs> Rumble. Uh, <laughs> good luck, King Richard. <laughs> yeah, and thank it was you, a. Uh, it was the F word that rhymes with bag. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, um, oh but bag. yeah, no, you can actually say that shit over on Rumble. That's like, wow. Like, that, damn. It's anyway. just a bundle of sticks. <laughs> I, always, I always thought it was just an English smoke. Yeah. True. <laughs> move on before we get struck. <laughs> yeah, let's move on before we get struck. I, well... Does anybody else have a shill before we go? Because uh, that was kind of like a several. mutual shill. Several. See, I can show oh, yeah, I was gonna say we should let uh, we should let Jake go nuts here. <laughs> Jake, shill, Richard, I might need your help like putting all the links minutes. in the chat. Right. Well, we're sharing screen real quick. I'm go I'm going full. That's I'm going like full. It. He's going full. Oh, dude, he's going full shill. He's going super go. shill. Super right, shill. What I Super shilling. That's what he's doing. All right. All right. Like Please, for the love of God. To ah, what did you do? Okay. Ah. <laughs> he hijacked your Trump stream. Traumatized you for five whole seconds. All right. First off, here, it of course, is 365 Imagery. My, I will guess I'll call it my Pulp Fiction Empire, uh, set in a wonderful, wild little science fiction universe. Free to read, the main magazine that is, with lots of paid exclusives down the pike and still sitting on the website. Five bucks a month, 50 a year. Come help us grow because it can only get bigger from here. And my workload can only get more psychotic. That's a so, you thing. Exactly. That's I need I need to be fed it though. I need to be fed it. Just just indulge me here. Uh Jacob Don't indulge his sick twisted. Well, yes, indulge his sick twisted. Indulge it. Subscribe. Pay, yep. pay Jake to indulge his needs, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Uh here is of course where I release all my music, including the latest soundtrack to the audio uh audio series we do up on 365, Alan Firedale. Uh only oh, five bucks gets you a free more. gets you a free month on the website and also you can buy my whole uh, discography for under 10 bucks so that's pretty cool 
and also my YouTube channel, also on Daily Motion, Rumble, and BitChute. And maybe I'll join Odyssey at some point. But this will be my little bi weekly experiment trying to produce really top shelf reviews, documentaries, basically by hook or by crook. And everything else you will hear from me in due time. Thank you. Excellent. Nice. What a good outro. Holy shit. That was slicker than fuck. <laughs> God, I and, hope uh, so. God, I this hope. is Linktree as well. Right. So Thank make you. Jake insane. Get involved. Please in subscribe. Right. do. Uh, get, get me to the point where I'm single handedly trying to make an animated film. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> for the, dude, I seriously want to see that though. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like your your hit my mic. Your stuff goes hand in hand with needing to be in an animated form. I would watch the shit out of that. I just I. That's one of my goals. I I am an I that's I want to get this to a point where the people that we're talking to are working on animated or even live action or or, or just right. whatever just film. I I will all right this is the one thing I will add to it cuz oh. I've been floating this on and off and I have been Do teasing it. it here and there but I am Stop doing teasing. talk this. why are you waiting? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop laughing you fucking giggling Son fucking of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit all to right. my wife all the time. I'm glad it works on other people. <laughs> all right. Long story short, I've been knocking my head against a uh, a proof of concept script. It's a very it's a very short film. It might only be two or three minutes, but it's for something I've always wanted to do with the series, which is a hybrid of 2D animation, the whole design aesthetic that's been developed through my work with Kevin. And a lot of the people that have been on this, Ben mm -hmm. Rodriguez, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and also Jerry Anderson style miniature work. So Ooh. on top of the two, you cell need, I am, I'm not even screwing with you. You're on Twitter. Get in touch you, with Moonlight. Yeah. You need to get in touch with Christopher Moonlight Productions. I already have. Yeah. Atta boy. Oh, good sir. Anyway. <laughs> No, it's it's and he's he's been really what cool with me about it too. Fuck uh, was that? I've been watching a lot of anime lately, dude. The voices are like just right. Yeah, but that but yeah. was like that was like girl on the street he, corner, bro. He's hit, he's hit a note I haven't been able to I'll hit. Be behave, <laughs> gentlemen. If we don't stop the stream very soon, it's going to get rather difficult to keep going. Anyway. Oh my gosh! You are. Yeah, so that's <laughs> he about that's... ripped his fucking nose off right there. I told yeah, you guys, I love messing with voices. It, snap neck. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what? What, what, what happened, what's, Jake? What's, well, you see, gentlemen, Jake was you, just a little a major... too excited on this stream. No, no, Roy, stop! What, what, I need what, a designer. What, what was what was the old? <laughs> what what was the old ASDF movie joke? Turn that frown upside down. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. You know where I get that voice from? Do you what was the fucking What was the fucking villain from the uh the the devil looking stupid thing from The fuck was the one with the three girl oh, fuck. You, Powerpuff you complete... girls. That was the one. Powerpuff girls. Oh, I know what you... I mean, I, I remember uh, the oh, the devil no. looking one. I always remembered that voice. So Fuck, what was that? That was all yeah. they, they always wanted Crazy. to put they always wanted to like sneak Powerpuff Girls in like in like Toonami, like right before like mm -hmm. Batman the animated series and like Dragon Ball Z. So if I ever ended up at like Grandma and Grandpa's house and like I had Cartoon Network on before, I, yeah, but what was yeah, that? I can't think of Because he always talked like that. The fucking the red devil thing mm -hmm. with the monkey uh, thing. Didn't he have like the, the fucking crab hands? Yeah, pincer hands. Yeah, that's and where I get that voice from. That's where oh, I try to it was vaguely non-gender. Yeah. Dr. <laughs> Some, Dr. Chimpy. Yeah, know. like that. No, that's, that's Mojo Jojo. It's totally different. No, thing. that was yeah. Mojo Jojo. I remember oh, him. Mojo -jo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. That's how he sounded. Yeah, yeah, no, what was the fucking one with the pincer hands? What the I fuck can't was remember his the name? name of it. It was like him or something. 
Oh yeah, people in the chat. Him. him? Oh. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes, drunk brain still retains uh, information. Uh, drunk. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. What are my no, but that, saying him? That's where I, I get know. that. That's where I go get that voice from. Is I just it's one of the few things I re like. I fucking hated that show. I fucking hated that show. But for some reason, just something that retarded stuck in my brain of all things. Yep. Which as I as mean, the, you know. I'm just. So the only voice there. that's more camp than that is probably, I don't know, if freaking Space Sergeant 101 from Terra Hawks. Because he always talks like this. Oh, <laughs> God, I hate the nasally guys. They're... Totally nasal. Mm -hmm. It's He's a fun character, though. He's a very fun character. I really, no, really uh, love we, him. Too. You know, I need to set up a show with everybody. Where we literally just talk about characters from like cartoons and stuff that we grew up with, because and and just go over just the just the audacity and just that some of those shows had, and just some of the great voice acting that's been like one of my one of the guys that does not get enough credit is Clancy Brown, which I think mm. he actually just did he pass away just recently or no or no I don't know, but anyway Clancy Brown if you guys know who that is. Mm -hmm. Like that guy is legendary, fucking legendary. But yeah, it's yeah. Um, I won't go into that because I can't. Better the burn out than to fade away. Right. Oh, dude, I I love <laughs> there. I. Good news, Clancy Brown's still with us. <laughs> Thank yeah. God. Good. Because you know you know who I'm talking about though, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that guy has done so many things. Uh, but with that being said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, All it's that time. Voices. Oh boy. It's that time. The ladies and gentlemen, thank done. you so much for being here. I appreciate hey, it. Buddy. You guys are awesome. Salute. We love you. The Very fuck is good. that? Are you Russian? Or wait, is that German? Wait, are you German? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mutt. I'm a mutt. That's all you get out I of am, him. Yeah, I'm a Heinz mutt. 57 blend of the whitest shit on the planet. That's what the fuck I am. <laughs> hey, we guys, are one, we are one like away from life. 50 likes on this stream. Can somebody hit that like Open button up. so we can hit 50? That would be awesome. I know the fucking mic is on, Herman. <laughs> <laughs> touch the like button. Yeah, touch that like button. Be like Nemo, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, and if you guys want to join the absolutely awesome... Hey, we hit 50 likes. Yes! 50 yeah. people touch that butt. Yeah. In the clutch. Right? <laughs> I'm past I'm 50? You got it already? YouTube told me I only had 49. YouTube for the last hour said I had 49, so... YouTube's lying to <laughs> one of us. Sketch which one it is. It's lying to you, Rice Bag. Yeah. You'll never be able to guess who I'm lying to now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, baby. Don't be a fool. No. <laughs> oh, that doesn't crawl, <laughs> I'm not going to do the full scream laugh. It's way too late. <laughs> Ladies My and gentlemen, thank you for so much for being here. On Iron Age Nights, we will see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good, Good night. night, nurse. <laughs> <laughs>